Hello. We're here. Hey. How's it going? Hello. Welcome to the Resurgence season four. Of the four? I was going to say four. four. Four seems right. Of the three peens in a pod podcast. When yes. did we do season two and three? Don't ask. Season Question. one right. was like the first two weeks of episodes that we did it. Then we took a big mm. break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then season two and three in there somewhere. And then what? how long has it been since we did this? Like a month almost? Or two or three weeks. Three weeks it's been a while, now. yeah. I, I almost I almost wasn't able to make it today, but, you know, I was like, no, nah, we should do it. <laughs> we harassed him until he showed up. Mm, pretty much. <laughs> That's how it always goes. The text messages are like, all right, sounds good. We'll be here then uh, Tuesday. Mark? <laughs> Yeah, Mark, I was gonna Mark. say it's usually the when we finally at the point of just try stop trying to be nice, we're just like Mark question mark. That's mm. when we usually get somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have to get Amy involved today, so well, that's good. Well, what's funny <laughs> is even at those moments when I am being summoned that way, I still managed to make it into Discord before you, Bob. So, Listen, <laughs> what? Cool people always show up to things last. That's, that's what I learned from TV and movies in the nineties. And I am clearly the cool one, so I have to show up last. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the rules. That is that is the rules. That is true. Uh, I'm maybe... the nice one. I'm the cool one. I'm the smart one. Yes. I don't absolutely. know what you guys have, but yeah. By the way, can you guys give me a ride after the show? I'm gonna have trouble getting uh, home today. Yeah. yeah. How's the how's the whiplash? What's that? That's a that's movie. a bad sign. Short term memory <laughs> loss. It's not good. <laughs> There it's is a there, That's a there is movie. some, but I think I think it's adrenaline associated, not uh, not damage associated. I like honestly, I I could not be luckier with how it turned out. Spin mm -hmm. us a yarn, Wade, for those who don't yeah. already know. Tell us the story. Okay, well, what had happened? Uh, so Thursday, which is one of the one in a month days where I decide to take my car and leave the house for any reason. <laughs> Molly had a dentist appointment, and we were doing a charity stream Saturday, which we did successfully. We raised almost $16,000 in a few hours for Able Gamers, which was really cool. Nice. But we wanted to get some Bean Boozled beans. Um, so we went to Molly's appointment, then we are like, hey, well, let's just swing by Jungle Gyms, uh, grab some beans, whatever. Uh, and then we were going to just grab maybe like Starbucks and lunch and go home. And, well, I guess the universe had other plans because we got on the highway. And I was in the slow lane, the far right lane, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I was stuck behind this really slow car. And here's where here's where things start to get a little bit like adrenaline blurry. Is I remember being in the lane and I bitched to Molly. I was like, God damn, this slow driver in front of me pinning me next to this stupid semi. Mm -hmm. And then I guess karma was like, mm, stupid semi, you say. Mm -hmm. uh, because the next thing I know, there's like a crunching noise and Molly lit out a scream. And I mean, like, I, I, I've described this to my audience, a scream that would be so good for, like, a spooky notification. It was a great scream. <laughs> but, like, it was an out-of-body experience where I wasn't, like, seeing myself or anything. But, like, the sound of the cars crunching, the sound of her scream just felt so far away from me. Like, I was, I was not actually, like, I don't know. It, it's, it's hard to describe it, but it, just, it felt like I was not present for those things, even though I definitely was. Um... I just remember holding on to the steering wheel. I don't think it was a, a cognitive thought or a conscious thought. It was like a subconscious just instinct was just to keep the car from turning. I was really afraid of if the car turned slightly left or right, we would either roll um, or and or one of us would be T-boned and probably killed. So my only goal while the crunch was going on, which all this happened in probably like a second or less. I, I, who knows how long it was. Mm. But um. Managed to hold on. We stayed straight. Eventually, the semi peeled back off into the middle lane, and I got off the road and got to a stop. Um, my main recollection, though, is, like, I remember the scream, the crunch, and then being stopped. All of the details along the way are, like, I, I don't know. I think I was just so hyper-focused. It's hard to, like, perfectly recollect any kind of conscious thought there. But uh, Molly described the smell of, like, the rubber and the metal burning. And I have, I, there was no smell for me. For me, there was zero scent of anything. I did not smell a thing. My side airbag deployed. Um, I can show you guys. I don't know if I showed you guys. I've got a photo of my car. It's not I as bad. I saw pictures as... on Facebook, I think. You posted, or oh, Molly, Molly posted, yeah. maybe. I saw the Yeah, Molly posted air, something on Facebook. But I'll show it to the stream again. Um, 
So, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, terrible, but I didn't even know my side airbag deployed until we were stopped. And I looked over to try to see like, I don't know, the road, the semi, I, mean, I don't know. I, I looked, went to look out my window and there was just something in my way. And I was like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. And it probably took me a good 10 seconds to figure out it was my airbag. Um, but yeah, I told my audience, I still streamed the same day cause I'm an idiot. I told my audience what happened and like everyone told me stories of how things didn't end well for them or someone they knew or so on and so forth. And yeah, man, I feel lucky because I had a sore elbow. My back and my neck were sore the same day. And everyone's like, Oh man, if you're hurting today, wait till tomorrow. And actually the next day I felt fine. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit of elbow soreness here and there, I think cause my arm was on the door when we got impacted, but like could have been a hell of a lot worse. Yeah, if anything, oh. it was probably just adrenaline making all your muscles like tense at once, which like yeah. that that's gotta like pull something. Yeah. Muscles are no so. Yeah. It, so did the truck literally just do that and then just drive away well, into the abyss, or what? What happened back, to them? They swerved back into the middle lane, and I imagine they also took a second to like try to figure out what the hell was going on. Like, oh my god, I hit somebody. What do I do? I guess I. They pulled off. They got mm -hmm. back and they took their time getting back into the slow lane. And I was like, oh my god, they're just leaving. But like a quarter of a mile, half a mile, I don't know the distance, a little ways down, they did pull off. Um, there was someone in an SUV that pulled off behind us and there was someone that pulled off behind them. Um, the first thing I did was I was like, I asked Molly, I was like, do we call 911? Like my brain couldn't comprehend if that was an emergency or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and she's like, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. and I, so I called 911. Um, I guess the lady behind me called 911. I don't know what the truck driver or the other person that stopped did, but... We sat there, we waited, I called 911, I called my mom, I was like, hey, mom, Molly and I got hit by a semi, can you drive us home? <laughs> 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 wasn't really very, like, uh, I wasn't thinking about my words, so she's like, you were what? But, um, and then I tweeted out something, because <laughs> my first thought after that was like, all right, called the police, called my mom, oh no, my stream, I better tweet about the stream. <laughs> um, Priorities. Yeah, yeah, I think I need to take a vacation. But, um, yeah, yeah. the police showed up, we filled out like a police report, um, at one point the lady came up and made sure we were okay before the police showed up or anything. She came over pretty quick to make sure we were okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a very nice lady, but I have no idea what happened with the police officer and the truck driver of the other car. He told us to stay tight where we were, wait for the tow truck to come get my car, and that he wasn't going to cite us from the description he'd gotten from the other lady and from us. It sounded like it was 100%, he didn't say 100%, but it sounded like they were more at fault. So he was, he said, once the, my car was towed away, we should probably just go ahead and head out. So he didn't want us to stick around. I never got direct information from the other driver. He said he was collecting all of that and it would be in the police report, which I still can't access almost a week later. Mm -hmm. yeah. So That's I'll be good. making a phone That's call. A good sign. Yeah. yeah, I'll be making a phone call to the the state patrol. Yeah. To try to figure out where the hell that is. Because uh, I would like to at least get insurance starting to see if my car is salvageable or not. I don't see how anyone could determine that you in your much smaller car went up to a semi and just started boom boom I get yeah. out of there boom boom you watched Take that, some of that Fast and the Furious movie where they robbed the semis on the highway too many yeah, times yeah, yeah. and you were like yeah. I can do it mm -hmm. yeah you just pointed at I'm the lady the, in the minivan it, over there and you're like you take this harpoon gun <laughs> uh, you know what I say shoot shoot <laughs> My you car is almost shoot. Italian job esque compared to a semi. I'm glad that we hit. Is it? I don't know what the front of the truck versus the trailers is like. The cabin. What do you call the, like the truck part of I the think cabin, semi? It's cabin. like the truck versus the trailer, or the tractor yeah. versus the trailer. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. The front. I'm part. pretty sure. Mm. I don't know this for a fact because again, my I was laser focused on wheel. Am I seeing normal road in front of me, or am I spinning normal? Ro like I, my focus was there, but I imagine I think we got hit by the truck part. Because my car is small enough to where if it was the trailer part, it probably would have overgone us to some extent. It probably would have been a hell of a lot worse had we got been hit back where the trailer was and that big gap was. Mm -hmm. I imagine. But I mean, I don't know for a fact. I've never, I've not tried to put my car under a trailer, but I imagine it could kind of be sucked under there pretty easily. Mm -hmm. The cab is the truck part. Okay, well, the cab, but mm -hmm. yeah. Well, but uh, yeah, it was, it was an interesting experience. My first ever accident and it was with a semi oh so, mm -hmm. yay well, makes a great story don't do it again i won't i've learned my lesson don't ever leave the house for anything ever good 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 mm. no, if anyone's like wait you've spent way too much money getting food delivered i'll be like well fuck you i left my house one time and i lost a thirty thousand dollar <laughs> car so you can piss right off yeah no semis <laughs> are no joke man i do not 
fuck around with semis. I don't go near them. I don't stay near them. Definitely, it's just like it's and and just getting boxed in like you did is is my nightmare. Just getting sandwiched in between. Yeah, this two well, of them. thankfully we were in the right lane, so we did have like when we got hit, there was room to the right. There wasn't another car, but yeah, yeah the car yeah, in front yeah. of us and the semi were like going the same speed side by side, and we were just stuck in the middle. So yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But glad you're okay. Yep. Everything. Mm. Maybe I think I am, but it's tax season, so we'll see. That's true. Yeah. I mean, there's no way that any insurance is going to say that was your fault. So, pretty. I sure. don't think so either. I, mm -hmm. But I, I don't know if it's different state by state with the fault, no fault. But I think that Ohio is not like a no fault. I think it's like ninety ten, or maybe they have the no faults for some of the accidents. But I mean, I, I don't. Believe I can't Ohio think. Ohio is proportional liability. Yeah. I can't think of even like a five percent thing that we could have done differently because the car in front of us was going slow and I, I i'm always a person who leaves lots of space so there was lots of space between me and the car in front of me mm -hmm. I, we had to have been going the speed limit or less i was literally in my lane like unless i was supposed to just sense them coming over and try to swerve out of the way which i couldn't have done because it happened so fast but mm -hmm. i literally can't think of a single thing I've, I've thought through this a million times like what could i have done differently to like not be hit and i, I can't come up with a single thing yeah, it, no, it's entirely the semi's fault for whatever reason drifting over into that lane. I mean, I know that yeah. semis have a lot of blind spots, but they also have a lot we of We were mirrors. probably in one. They probably didn't see us, but I have no idea. I can't, because I can't see the police report, I can't see what, what their reasoning is for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, a, I, I know a lot of people are scared for, like, autonomous vehicles and, like, autonomous trucks and stuff like that. But also, I also know that there's a lot of idiots that drive cars um and those are just rogue elements they'll do whatever they want and whatever time like the whole subreddit idiots in cars is just an example of people that should never have passed their driving test in the first place so yeah let's just see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens in the future i am very impressed that my little scion took a hit from a semi and like you know it looks bad but like doesn't look as bad as you expect. <laughs> In all honesty, I bet if there was footage of it, which I doubt there is, but I bet if there's footage, it probably looks a lot underwhelming from yeah. a camera's point of view. It's yeah, probably, probably looks does. like the tiniest little like doink, you know. But yeah, I imagine a doink from a semi feels cataclysmic when you're in the car being doinked. So yeah, it's, yeah. well, it yeah. also you can't see this in the photo, but like the back left of my car is really dented in. My back left tire was flattened, so like mm. whatever it made. Whatever part of it impacted the back of my car did probably fuck up the alignment. It took out my tire. So on top of the impact, like just oh. trying to hold on 65 miles an hour, having an impact happen and having one of your tires just taken out all yeah. at once probably also made it feel in the moment like we were going to die. You know, um, I, it, that just made me think of it. You know, I see semis all the time. Not all the time, but I see pictures of semis or videos of semis and they have those like spikes on their tires like those mad max like foot long jagged spikes all around the inside of their tire and it spins like a saw blade and i'm like what happens if they bump up against another car with that it just like your left arm would have been shredded to ribbons to ribbons can you imagine a, that i'm trying not to imagine it <laughs> ribbons uh, spaghetti arm anyway what do you well, say I couldn't be much worse at FPS games, so I guess at least I have that. <laughs> <laughs> like that streaming and gaming is still your main concern of your I, arm being turned to ribbons. Man, whenever you have a mortgage and bills to pay and stuff, it's hard not to think of like your career and life. Because it's like, what do I do all day, every day? I'm either working, being messaged about working, or thinking about when my next working is going to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hello. My power went out. Oh, Robo Bob, hello. Your, your penicillin? What? I'm assuming you said power. It's not like you said penicillin. We can Kinda. barely hear. My power hear. went out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Was your yeah. house hit by a semi? Probably. Is your house in ribbons? Is it ribbons? I don't know why you can't hear me. I'm on my phone. No, we, we can hear, hear you. you. Is this just, a little? This is a little. Not great. Well, that really sucks. I'm, I'm sure I'll be back any minute, and I'm sure it won't go out again. <laughs> okay. All right. Hopefully. I'll reboot everything right now. No problem, boys. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be, I'll be they're, coming, they're coming for him. Um, 
you know, it's uh, the the whole the whole ribbon to ribbons things actually just reminded me of where I think of that because my my dad, you know, he was in the army, right? So he went through army things. Um, yeah. And he, for some reason, he told me a story when I, I was like eight or something when he told me the story. Um, but he told me the story about how a guy he was in basic training with, you know, they do grenade training, right? Yeah. And the grenades they train with, they aren't like full on grenades, but they still go boom, right? They still pop. Um, sure. I mean, I, I don't know much about it, but I, I believe that. That makes so, sense. So when you pull a pin on a grenade and you let go of the thing, it'll blow up in like three, five seconds. I'm not sure how long. But he told me a story of a guy that held it too long and it went off in his hand. And how he described it to me, an eight year old who might have been eating spaghetti at the time, said, it turned his hand into strings of spaghetti. And it, that scarred me for life. And I just remembered it again. So how dare you, Wade, remind me of the story that I brought up about how the thing that didn't actually happen to you reminded me of this horribly scarring story. Well, you know, before we went live, uh, I was talking briefly about the police report and you went, oh yeah, you were in an accident. So I feel like you forgetting <laughs> about my accident that happened a few days ago, your spaghetti hand memories are kind of karma for that. So I don't feel bad for you. Yeah. Um, and in fact, I'm glad that a scarring memory came back up. And now okay. I probably bought myself some more bad karma, so I'm not leaving the house for the next year. Listen, let's just get in a bad karma spiral, and let's just <laughs> keep going down and see who oh, hits God. the bottom. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Great, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's just let's do a video series where we try to reenact what happens when a semi makes contact with a car, and see the different scenarios we can come up with. I'm sure it'll be perfectly safe, and we'll only end well. It'll be like the brick smashing video. We'll get a, a semi made of. Sugar was it made of sugar? All that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've actually always doubted that story because I, I do like I know that they do like. I think that by accident. You mean the spaghetti? Hand. No, the the spaghetti <laughs> hand because I'm not sure if because maybe he told it as like a joke. Because why would he tell a kid that? I'm, cause Unless did, like you're... do they do they still blow? Because I'm like okay, if it was grenade that blew up, if it was in his hand and his hand was like back by his head, wouldn't he be dead if it was enough to turn his hand into spaghetti? Like I'm like, was it a it real story? On the explosion radius. The only thing I can think of that would make it somewhat possible is if like the nerves and blood vessels and stuff like managed to stay intact while it the... blasted all the muscle but his veins stay i mean yeah it doesn't make a lot of sense yeah. I, I don't know though I, I i don't know what happens when an explosion meets physical anatomy i've, I've never really looked wait. into that yeah wait so do they they don't have a grenade in the step between big boom and no boom do they that was a made-up story i don't know oh <laughs> what is that isn't there an airsoft like Frag grenade that like explodes and shoots like little plastic BBs. Don't they have one of those? That's like a CO2 charged. That would, that's not like a blow your hand up sort of thing. Yeah. But wouldn't, I don't know. If you were going to be throwing fake grenades, I feel like you would want them to have some kind of pop to them. But like, I don't think you throw fake grenades. I think I, you well, throw grenades. I think, no, they have practice grenades that don't explode and then they do live sure. grenade training. Let's see what the internet says about practice grenades. Do they? I think he lied to you, Someone Mark. get a Ouija board. I need to talk to him. Hang on. This is bullshit here. I've been scarred for so long. I was like, why would you need a Ouija board? Just call and I was like, oh, shit. I'm an <laughs> asshole. Okay. <laughs> Somebody get me a speaking spell. I gotta talk to him. God, there's an upcoming in, in uh, like, maybe the go. next or the next. Oh, wait, what? Go. The M69 grenade is used for grenade training to safely simulate the M67 grenade. The fuse screws into the body is replaceable after use. The simulator produces a report and small puff of white smoke when properly employed. So that doesn't maybe sound like a blow your hand well, off. Maybe that's a modern either. one. When was this? Was this a World War II this, training? <laughs> How old do you think my dad <laughs> What did your dad fight in? The Civil War? Oh, well. <laughs> Vietnam? Yeah, yeah. Korean War? <laughs> what century was World this? War I? Was Why don't know if it's your dad's story guys? or you're like, he was heard the story. Uh, listen, Maybe, I was only half know. listening to your story in all uh, honesty. That's fair. That's fair. I was only half listening to your getting hit by a semi story. So it's, uh, it's all fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you texted me. You were one of the first people to text me, too. And I, you're the first one to forget. So I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <Got> you. <laughs> texted him. You were like, hey, you, 
you better do that stream. You're gonna watch that. Wait, we've talked I... about this. If you want to have a successful career, no matter what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're in the hospital, you better make some videos. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mark was chiming in with his uh, his injury update wisdom. <laughs> like, listen, this is a lot of views. How bad his are actual you text was like. Up? <laughs> he was like, I'm not done milking my foot and you just one up me. This is not cool, man. This is not what friends do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. Dude, uh, about the, the dad thing, um, I was in the next or the next after this one, Hoonie Pop episode. There's this one character that talks to me. He's like, Man, are your parents still together? I was like, As a kid, did you know they get divorced? And I was like, The one of the answers is like, Yeah, they got divorced. So I picked that one. And then she goes, Ah, man, that sucks. At least you still have your dad. <laughs> I'm like, Oh, shit. Why, why would God. you say that? So savage. <laughs> anyway, that, that'll be, that was very funny. Um, so uh, here we go. During Vietnam, at least, there was an M62 that was the practice version of the M26A1. Uh, mm. What does the M62 do? Uh, and there's not much info. It's all taking me to different grenades. I don't know. It looks like they puff out some smoke. Maybe enough. Because I know that if you probably like hold a firecracker in your hand, it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, That's yeah. true. That yeah. wouldn't be like an okay thing to do. So mm -hmm. yeah, you almost lost an eye to a smoke grenade. So I could believe that a practice grenade would be worse than that. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, story valid, but you're on thin ice, Dad. We'll call it what? plausible. Plausible, yeah. Um, I have another story. Okay. To follow up with this story. Another One. fun, lighthearted jaunt. Oh, a lighthearted jaunt it is not. Oh no. Are cereal companies trying to save money by using shellfish byproducts? I feel like this one's an obvious answer, but go ahead. What's your obvious answer? Yes. Yes. The if it's a byproduct, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Yes. Blank byproduct. You could have put any word there, and I probably would have also said yes. I, yeah. You Not name even it, surprised. I would believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Auto accident byproduct. Yes, probably. <laughs> Scraps of metal. You got it. You know, not everything is about, you know, your car crash. What groundbreaking journalism have you done, sir? Right, Still milking so, it. Someone by the name of Jensen Karp. Nice name. <laughs> Real name. sounding name. That's a good one. <laughs> They're verified. Yeah. They're verified. Very real. They're verified. They, Jason they... Carp and Michael Jellyfish here to report on the shellfish <laughs> use. <laughs> yes, yes, just yesterday, uh, uh, tweeted at you know Cinnamon Toast Crunch a picture of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, it, and and let me actually get the picture for you here so that you can. Uh... Oh, I saw this. The picture of the little shrimp tails. Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's Bob. Have you seen this? No, but I'm going to try and find it without getting banned from Facebook. All right, <clears throat> sounds good. Uh, I just put it... Wait, what? Uh, again with the j -fif. What's a j -fif? <laughs> What's wrong with your computer? What is <laughs> it's this? It's just Twitter. Uh, look, you find it yourself. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I could just copy which, the which, link. Are, which, which outlet are you reading? It's TMZ? not an outlet. No, I'm going to the source, Al. Oh, God. I'm going to the oh. source, yeah. Okay, post the link, Daddy. I did. Okay, so Jensen Karp said, at... Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Why are there shrimp tails in my cereal? Parentheses, this is not a bit. Yeah. And if you look at the picture, they really do look like shrimp tails in yeah. the bag. Um, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch responded, we're sorry to see what you found. We would like to report this to our quality team and replace the box. Can you send oh. us a DM <laughs> to collect more details? Thanks. Oh, and no. Replace the box. That's yeah. Man, if I found shrimp in my cereal, the first thing I'm thinking is, man, I need another box of cereal. Yeah, and so... That's not good. <laughs> Mr. Carp afterwards sent a DM and said, fair warning, I look different since eating your cereal and posted a picture of some kind of shrimp man. Um, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch said, after further investigation with our team that closely examined the image, it appears to be an accumulation of the cinnamon sugar that sometimes can occur when ingredients what? aren't thoroughly... What? Dude, what? what? <laughs> 
<laughs> what? You're cutting out again. Did your power go out? <laughs> that is not where I thought that was gonna go. Yeah, wait. Let me let me let me see if I can show the stream uh, said picture here because it is. Oh, yeah, I've got it up. You've me, got it up. Let me, green can I open see. this image in a oh, new no, tab? No, no, that's not right. God, we need help. To oh my God, help! What have happened? Oh. <laughs> I, you okay, Mark? I, I is broke. that their honest to God statement? Yeah, yeah, that is their honest to God statement. Yeah, okay. no, it was. So I'm, oh I'm bringing up. These are the accumulations of what was it? Cinnamon the, the sugar coating. <laughs> the cinnamon sugar coating. The, the one on the left, I could see maybe being no. something weird, but the one on the right, <laughs> you that know, what's is... not red? <laughs> cinnamon or sugar? You know what's red and looks like a shrimp tail? <laughs> a cooked shrimp tail. Uh, it's so bizarre. I mean, it's kind of yeah. dumb pieces of shit. Does General Mills think we are? Yeah. So the one it, on the right looks like it has plastic around. But I guess a shrimp tail kind of looks like that too. Yeah. So <sighs> their their statement goes further. We assure you that there's no possibility of cross contamination with shrimp between our cinnamon toast shrimp and cinnamon toast crunch production <laughs> lines we can assure you that cinnamon toast shrimp is our high quality dinner and lunch only product please enjoy this free can of cinnamon toast shrimp as a form of apology for this on misunderstand what the fuck is happening what goes, is this it goes further because mr carp then tweets out Okay, we'll, after further investigation with my eyes, these are cinnamon-coated <laughs> shrimp tails, you weirdos. I wasn't all that mad until you tried to gaslight me. And here's another picture in his hand of what is clearly, at best, a shrimp tail, at worst, like a cicada or something like that. It oh. doesn't look good. It looks clearly organic in some way. That it's It's not... This is not cinnamon sugar, yeah. and if it is cinnamon sugar, that's even worse. This is not a good look. So, you'd think that at this point, uh, that's pretty shrimpy looking. Oh, what, what do you What do you think that cinnamon toast crunch? After they said we understand your concern, we promise you that our team will look into this and get to the bottom of it. <laughs> and in the meantime, we'll do everything we can to get it right. Um, what do you think that they? did afterwards to try to rectify the situation. I know exactly what Cinnamon Toast Crunch did. Okay, Two did boxes do? of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, the, they immediately ordered a family-sized box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch to be yeah, yeah. sent to Mr. Jensen Carp's <laughs> residence. Which sadly... And then wrote, uh, <laughs> no, engaged their visual inspection experts once more into further inspection to look at the uh, pictures of the uh, chunks of sugar clearly sitting in Mr. Jensen. Uh oh, Bob's going. I think that what happened is, uh, like, the team printed out a picture like on paper of said picture and then sprinted down the halls of their office to their <laughs> resident image looker with big thick coke bottle lenses that make his eyes huge and then looked down at the picture and was like ah that's sugar <laughs> i know sugar no way yeah to be fair though to cinnamon toast crunch's credit this is a taste you can see <laughs> <laughs> That might be the funniest joke I, you've ever said. Oh my <laughs> god. Thanks, man. <laughs> the best one. That we is... all peak sometimes. What what if what if the social media manager Yeah. Oh, he's gone. What they got him. Wait, they got him. <laughs> they oh, got no. him. Bob? We're about to be cinnamon toast kidnapped. <laughs> Okay. You think the semi was to them as well? They knew this was coming? I was wait, cut. wait, what company did the semi work for? I almost got Cinnamon Toast crunched. Oh, okay. Well, when Bob gets back, uh, there's a further development in the story that happened just a little over an hour ago. So, we will give Bob just a moment. I just want to build the tension. I feel it. Good, you should. Will Bob return? Will we see- Oh, well, too much. 
Will we see our friend again? Did Mr. Mills, did the general, general, is that like a military rank? General Mills, yeah, maybe they use those like a... practice grenades on the shrimp. <gasps> oh, 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 he's back, hey, Bob. Oh, well, I just told the funniest joke I've ever said in my entire life, but God I guess you won't get to hear it. <laughs> damn, no, it's a God, meme, right? Gone. This is God. a meme, right? I, I think so, yeah, yeah, I think. Absolutely. It's on purpose. The yeah. social media person did this on purpose. It has to be. <laughs> Do you I refuse wanna... to believe that a company this large looked at that and was like, that's not shrimp. No, no. It, it gets it gets worse, man. It gets worse. Uh, um, not possible. Because they tweeted out this morning at 10, 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay. They tweeted out this statement in on a purple image, no text, like it's it's one of those, said, while we are still investigating this matter, we can say with confidence that this did not occur at our facility. We are waiting mm. for the consumer to send us the package to investigate further. Any consumers who notice their cereal box or bag has been tampered with, such as the clear tape that was found in this case, should contact us. It's no longer just cinnamon sugar. It's now tape. No. Where is the tape? <laughs> where, where is the image that they are deriving that? No. No. <laughs> they really don't want to say that this is shrimp in their cereal. They really don't want to say that. God, I they mean, don't say that. I completely empathize and understand why they wouldn't want to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, but wait, why is there string in this picture? What is happening? What is this picture? What picture? You got a picture? Okay, a 20 hours ago, Mr. Jensen Carp tweeted a follow-up picture um, with a tweet that reads, I was convinced to go back through the bag since when I first noticed the shrimp tails, I freaked out and closed it and put it away. Here's everything I found in the bag. And there's a picture of a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch with an open bag next to it. And what looks like... The two big shrimp tails, along with some other leaves or something, and a string. Oh, uh, that he that he claims he found all inside this bag of cinnamon so toast crunch. My guess oh. is someone was walking their pet shrimp at the facility, and that's the leash. <laughs> I've got nothing, man. That's fucked up. The okay. shrimp mafia. Found out that uh, <laughs> Joey Tails and Jimmy Saltwater were were narking to the cops. They tied them together, covered, stuffed their mouth with those sea leaf, seaweed leaves, Ew, what is that? and, is that and tortured them by drowning them in a box of cinnamon toast crunch. That's what happened. Yeah. Okay. So uh, some people might look at this with more pictures of weird things in these bags and say, "Oh, this proves that it was fake." I'd say it proves that it's real because the strangest things in stories are usually true. Like, if there was, say shrimp tails which is garbage essentially in this bag and then there's a random piece of string and what looks like rat poop or like some kind of some kind of shit some turd tiny turds or something in this bag it's it's more inclined for me to believe that someone at a factory somewhere in their factory just dumped some garbage in out of like anger or whatever have okay. you okay Hmm? Yeah, actually, you know what? That second response that you that you read from this morning yeah. from the company, yeah, yeah. I found where they got that from. Oh, okay. 16 hours ago, Jensen Karp tweeted an update. Uh -huh. uh, and he said that his wife uh, was curious and has a stronger stomach. So she looked at the other bag that was unopened because it was one of those boxes that has two full bags in it. Apparently, inside the other bag on the exterior corner is like packing taped up like the, there's a picture he posted the bag appears to have been opened and then taped back Ooh. shut and inside that unopened bag is what looks like dental floss or something oh so Someone that's asked, where why, did you buy it Pawn that's shop. where cinnamon toast crunch abandoned their absolutely batshit crazy claim that those shrimp tails are clearly not shrimp tails mm. and jumped on the more palatable claim of clearly this has been tampered with ah that which i kind of buy at this point I with, that, buy with that. that information okay i could buy that okay they they should have made their statement a bit more clear 
Maybe did a quote tweet at some time. Maybe used the image or something. Who knows? Yeah, yeah something like that. <laughs> it's just different with such as the clear tape. Because you can see how someone, if you were putting yourself in the mind of a company that was desperately trying to say it's not shrimp, look at the transparent piece of a shrimp tail and say, oh, it's just tape. Oh, it's tape, everyone. So, yeah. okay. All right. See, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt here, but not by that much. Um, cause as we erase the first response, yeah, like, exactly. we can't let that go. And we all oh, know that cereal manufacturers shop. are the worst about shrinkflation and shrinkflation is a, just a nightmare, right? The worst, mm -hmm. the worst. Well, anyway, we what is that shrinkflation? You don't know what that is? I feel like I could guess, but I don't actually know off the top of my head it's what that the, is. It's the process of keeping the prices that are on shelves for products like cereals the same by reducing the amount of product in each box. So mm. they make the boxes bigger with less stuff in it, or you know, they, they, they do a thing where they make a super sale on a smaller box, and then when the price is normalized that box is now the same price as the uh, the bigger box and then they don't make the bigger box anymore you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they do tricky things to make sure that the prices seem like they stay the same but you're getting less chocolate bars they'll be like one quarter of an inch shorter you know the, like skittles like bag, 20 ounce less. bottles are now 16 and a half ounce bottles exactly or whatever. stuff like that and that mm. way that way they maintain the illusion that the prices are still the same um when in reality obviously you're getting less for your dollar. It's a way to hide the inflation of prices. Shrinkflation. Shrinkflation. Okay. This was apparently Shrimp bought at a Costco, <laughs> for the record. What? Apparently it was oh. bought at a Costco. People are Costco saying there's a little the, the dark lines on the things or it could be like rat shit. I don't know if that's true or not. But. Yeah, that, that's weird, but you know, it's all right, whatever. I don't eat cereal anymore, so I'm fine. I but, haven't uh, actually eaten breakfast cereal in so long, so I'm safe from the shrimps. Because it, it is quite bad when you think about cereal in general. It's basically just candy bars it in is. a form that's acceptable for breakfast. Yeah, which I don't know how that happened. Like, where did we get to the point where sugar was the perfect breakfast? A balanced, part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that, that statement. That phrase is a brilliant marketing move. Yeah. I mean, isn't that generally the move of uh, food companies in America in general? How do we make it socially acceptable to eat cake for all meals, including snacks <laughs> and drinks? Like, what is a what is a muffin? It's a cupcake without frosting on it. Yeah. What is a cinnamon roll? It's a cupcake with frosting on it. What are pancakes? They're cakes. <laughs> like the yeah every it's everything is so sweet and i'm not saying i don't like it because i do because i have the american palate but like everything is slowly moving towards mostly cake mm -hmm. yeah i think we're getting away from it i think people are starting to realize just how bad these things are because like as a kid i ate cereal every single morning and yeah. i'm like if i had instead eaten say eggs and bacon every single morning maybe i would have grown up a little taller than i am you know maybe just maybe <laughs> i ate a lot of eggs and bacon i think there's a good chance. there's a correlation right yeah. i didn't get my protein as a kid that's it there that's were definitely really times answer. where i had eggs and bacon like more than five times in a two-week period yeah no i i i do think that though there's a, like a nutritional deficiency in um in people that like predominantly eat foods like this and i think it's not an often understood or recognized thing because it's it's uh, it's clear that part kids, of a balanced breakfast it's part of a balanced breakfast but when you think about those commercials they always have the bowl of cereal and then they zoom out and there's like toast and eggs and a glass of milk and orange juice who drinks all of that Egg, like, you have milk in your cereal, milk in the glass, and you have, like, I don't know, the toaster there and just pops up with Eggo waffles, you know, and everything's there. Balanced. It's perfectly I mean, balanced. As much as that is, I'm sure, substantiated somehow, I don't even really believe that that's a balanced breakfast. Just the cereal, very mm. sugary, basically crunchy sugar. Yeah. Milk is very sugary, very, even skim milk still has high sugar content. Mm. Orange juice is 
pretty much just sugar. Yeah, its sugar. entire caloric value is sugar, especially because mm -hmm. people drink no pulp orange juice. Mm -hmm. So you don't get the only valuable thing in an orange, which is the fibrous <laughs> pulp. Uh, and then, you know, like sausage, fine. Protein, fatty, but still protein. Eggs, fine. You know, maybe a little fatty, cholesterol -y, but healthy. Like like seventy percent of what's shown in the picture of a balanced breakfast is mostly sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is sugary. It's yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is insane. It really is. I think that the like I'm not I'm not one for m making people only eat like uh, organic yada yada whatever. But I I think just like. <laughs> you know just some protein just some vitamins you know not not the kind of dusting of vitamins that they have in like a febreze bottle and they spray on the cereal down the conveyor belt <clears throat> talking God. like you know maybe some nutrition here and there a vegetable you know like maybe some kind of a something grown in the ground you know maybe that's why they're trying to get the shrimp in the cereal maybe a little protein maybe. there's got to be nutrition in that shrimp tail from collagen you boil that shrimp tail up you got some Shrimp tail it's broth. Bone broth. You got some basically bones. All of shrimp's bones are on the outside. You got outside bone broth. That semi sounds really, really good about now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back. Here I'm in. You're right. You okay? This is just the beginning. Five years from now, you'll be able to take a, a box of cinnamon toast crunch, boil it in some water, strain out the the actual cereal itself, and what do you got? Some nice high col high collagen, high sugar bone broth. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a delicious, nutritious part of a balanced lunch. Yeah. God, you know, I, I see in chat people being like, but vegetables are gross. I really don't. I'm like, there are so many vegetables. How can yeah. you say they are all gross? Like, they're probably just thinking like broccoli or Brussels. Well, sprouts. how you prepare them is different, too. Like, exactly. I really like yeah. broccoli prepared. Like, uh, I think I like steamed a lot, but there's like certain ways where it's not as good. Like, I don't know. You can prepare things a whole bunch of different ways where they yeah. taste different. You too. like roast uh, Brussels sprouts with like butter and some bacon bits on it. It is oh, yeah. salted up. It's so, like the best. I love that. Amy yeah, I really firmly lot. believe that a lot, like, I think it's totally legitimate. You Maybe you don't like certain things. I have a handful of foods where no matter how I've eaten them, I just don't like it. I don't care for it. And not mm. in, like, a pouty way. Like, I'll eat it and just be like, I don't know. It's okay. Don't I'll like help. it. Yeah. I wouldn't choose it. But, like, I firmly believe that a lot of people think they hate all vegetables or some vegetables or specific things. I bet it's because of how you had to eat them. Mm -hmm. It's possible, like a lot of people, you know, I grew up, my dad cooked most of the meals in our house. Mm -hmm. It's not how I live now, which is terrible and not great for my health, but like my, however my dad cooked stuff, that's how I ate it. And thankfully my dad was a pretty good chef. He liked and enjoyed cooking and would, you know, he's pretty successful. Some people are not good chefs, like not, not by any fault of their own. They just don't have any instinct or they don't care enough. If your parent is not a good chef, but they insist on trying to feed you healthy home cooked meals, you probably ate some really gross food. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, not a judgment. Some people just don't care about cooking and aren't good at it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But I bet if you hate Brussels sprouts, it's because you were served Brussels sprouts that were cooked poorly that tasted super vinegary because if you don't cook them right they mm -hmm. get really weird and stanky yeah. and i bet they were mushy and disgusting and i'm sure that i would not like them either oh, but i, I bet like if you had brussels vegetables. sprouts that were cooked properly mm -hmm. you might have a better chance of liking them you might still not like them but yeah i firmly believe it comes down to how you were served food and if you have you know good cook parents good cook grandparents or you know whatever if you were a good cook or if you were not a good cook mm -hmm. i think that's a lot of it People should try stuff. People should try stuff. Wade. Bob's calling you time, out, man. Wade. Yeah, Wade. Yeah, Wade. I try stuff all the time, but nothing will make a taco taste good, and I will never like stuff on my burgers. Your opinion is wrong, and I hate you. <laughs> all right. Anyway. I seriously yeah. can't believe you don't like tacos, though. Like, such a good I can't either. Format. With how it's much so the good. entire world has chastised me for that, I can't believe it's it so either. Apparently, I just can't believe it. That's about the one opinion about food I truly believe I have that's wrong, okay. but I can't make my mouth enjoy it. What if, like, you know how you like a plain burger? What if you just like a plain taco, just a tortilla Tried and meat? It. And you still meat, don't cheese, like it? taco. Meat, cheese, taco. No. What, what was the meat? Was it from a restaurant? Was it home prepared? I have tried them years. I mean, this was when I was a kid, but I tried them. I had a neighbor who liked to make a whole bunch of, like, homemade, like, um, tacos, sloppy joe stuff. I'm not a big fan of sloppy joes either. Um, but stuff like that never enjoyed it um i've tried like sit down restaurants 
I've tried, yes, Taco Bells. I've tried like all kinds. They always, everything about it from the time the shell hit, touches my tongue to chewing on the cheese and the meat, it's just like the most unpleasant experience for That's my so taste buds. How do you feel about nachos? Just chips and cheese? Those are fine. What about well, nachos? So, how with would meat you feel them? about nachos with meat and cheese yeah, yeah, yeah. on them? That's essentially I mean, a theory, crunchy taco. Fine. In theory, fine. In a different shape. There's something about the that's meat. That's so weird. I don't know. There's been something about the meat, I feel like, that's just, like, awful. Is it like the shape of the taco resonates for some reason <laughs> in your mouth, and it just, it's like a deterrent? You know what I mean? Because I'm thinking the theory. It can't, it can't be just taste, because the ingredients by themselves you would like to eat. Some combination well, isn't is there creating like, a um, ripple in the Well, isn't there, cilantro or something? Isn't that what it's called that's in the Not meat? Not necessarily, Not necessarily, but yeah. yeah. If you had it at restaurants and stuff, it's entirely possible that there was cilantro in a I lot believe of that in you, the meat or you don't in the like stuff that was prepared. Cilantro, and I believe yeah. that cilantro tastes bad for you, and that's fine. That's totally yeah. That's valid. a thing. Yeah. That's, that's totally my thing. best guess as to why. That might be it. Yeah. Or but, uh, the ethereal like resin and cheese theory, and all that much, I honestly. Like. And some chips, I will say, some chips I don't like. It depends on the chips. Hmm. But like, um, I mean, some fair. places just like the that's chips fair. and cheese taste good, but sometimes the. I'm, I'm very picky about the cheese too. Sometimes some quesos are really gross to me, but in general, normal queso is fine. It must be cilantro. They they're putting that in everything these days. People love cilantro. Goddamn cilantro! I love cilantro. I think I'm one of the people where it tastes like it's soap, like soap, soap or something. Or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, I didn't get. I don't remember feeling like it was soap. But I remember like trying to chew on it, and my everything in my body was like, "Please spit this out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that. I believe that. I respect that actually. Yeah, I'm very, very Texture is usually a big thing for me too, but like, I feel like I've tried both crunchy and soft shell things. Um, I went to a restaurant. I think it was back in 2012, before, uh, before we started doing like drunk Minecraft and stuff. I went out with a couple of friends to a Mexican restaurant, and they had me try like enchiladas, and I thought, I managed to eat them, but it was kind of like Bob's thing, where it was like I was at a restaurant, I didn't want to like be rude. I'm sure they were cooked just fine, but every bite I took, it was like really not happy about this being in my mouth, but I will get through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's something for chat to contemplate. Uh, it, with the whole cilantro thing, it's not even down to preference. There's literally some people whose genetic makeup in their taste bud makes them not like cilantro it tastes different to some people and this yeah. is where people need to kind of extend their perception of reality beyond themselves because not everyone perceives reality the same way like we are all different um some people literally taste things different than you do and just because they don't like it doesn't mean that they're wrong that's just how they're they're literally their taste buds work like I physically can't process alcohol. This is how I am. However, Wade, you're wrong, and we hate yeah. you for it. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, I just wanted to get to I that I was point. waiting. I was like, man, this sounds like I'm actually being defended for once, but I was like, it can't be. No. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not actually. Yeah. And, and this perception yeah. of taste extends beyond just cilantro. This is for pretty much everything. And it, it often fi like finds its way into uh, certain regions of the world where people came from. Like, the lactose tolerance is only, like, 30% of the world population is actually Yeah, I mean, that's like drink. an evolution, mm -hmm. evolutionarily developed thing. Yeah, exactly. You, you, adult humans beyond infancy aren't really, like, supposed to biologically consume any milk at all mm -hmm. as far as i understand it obviously i'm no expert mm -hmm. but lactose intolerance is not is not the dysfunction lactose tolerance is weird yeah that's it's weird that people can drink milk because mm -hmm. you're supposed to drink milk as an infant from your mother and then y you eat other food mm -hmm. once you can basically yeah. Yeah, what do you mean you. as an infant from your mother uh, oh um when you were a baby uh yeah, but what age do you count as not being an infant anymore? Like, 40? Definitely not an infant at 40, yes. I would um, have to. Yeah. I would have okay, to draw so I've a got pretty like, hard line I've got a there. few years left. Okay, thanks, guys. Okay. It might... You might reach a little lower than 40, but I'm not here to tell anyone how to live. These standard deviations kind of stretch things out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, It's, like, it's uh, like a bell curve of acceptable ranges just gets like less and less, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. But, Guys, but, the, but the center point is something. not 40. I want to want to point that out. The center of that is if babies aren't weird for drinking milk 
from their mothers. <laughs> They're not the outlier. That is... You're only actually supposed to drink milk from the age of eight to the age of 24. <laughs> Anything outside of that in either direction is just weird. <laughs> you hear me, toddlers? <laughs> anyway yeah food huh food yeah I, I want I, I will tell you guys I wish I could enjoy Mexican food I've uh I took four years of Spanish and I prepared a couple of dishes like there was one pollo con piña that's like chicken it was like a chicken pineapple it was almost came out like a stew I don't know if I made it right but that was really good um so some things like that I like but like as many people no one in my family dislikes it I'm the only person I know that doesn't like it so, the only person I know that doesn't like it. I yeah, I wish I did. God, it would make life about ten thousand percent less painful. Mm -hmm. You know what you could do is just not ever talk about that. And if it comes up, and like you're with a group and they're ordering food, and someone's like, "Let's get tacos," and everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," you could just be like, oh, "I have explosive diarrhea. I'm not gonna eat. It's okay, guys." Oh. And that would be that would be less uh, less impactful on your life to just constantly admit that you have explosive diarrhea to your friends than to tell any human being that you don't like tacos. Yeah, well, everyone yeah. knows at this point. So my life, as we know, it's already over. Not uh, <laughs> everyone. This podcast is very wide reaching, but not that wide reaching. <laughs> so uh, I was uh, yeah. uh, tangentially related. Do you guys ever uh, hear about the story of the the one woman who, when she had a baby, she started obviously producing milk, but then she never stopped and it like only accelerated so that she was producing like a, a, a almost a gallon of milk a day. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. I think they called it like hyper lactation syndrome, but, but she turned it into a good thing because she just kept pumping and freezing it and she would be able to like donate it, uh, for other mothers to feed their babies. Um, and it, it just got me thinking of like, man, just like th these genetic quirks, like these genetic kind of outliers and not abnormalities it's just like the potential of of genetic possibilities is is stunning to me like someone someone and, and that's i don't know how long that lasts for that particular woman but it's, it's just kind of incredible when you think about it just like the human body can vary incredibly while still maintaining in the point of view of what a human actually is and, and it's it, it's kind of an interesting theory to think a lot of people don't realize this but humans are still evolving to this day like what? The, if evolution doesn't stop. It, it's never just like, all right, we're done. We humans are finished. It's like, no, we're uh, we're still changing. Like we we are still changing. Adaptations are coming around all around the world. Like you know, does it really like, count as evolution though? If eighty percent of people are just getting fucking so stupid, you know. Well, that's the thing. So that's the thing. Everyone thinks that evolution is better. It's not always better. <laughs> seriously, dead serious. All it is is changes. That's it. All yeah. it is is changes. And whatever changes succeed and propagate are the changes that that path takes. It doesn't have to be better. It, like the the fact of it, of the matter is that life always changes. Always. From generation to generation, they might be imperceptible, but from long periods of times, they will start to become apparent. And so with, with humans, like, we have only been, like, in society for, like, tens of thousands of years. We've been around as a species for longer, maybe, like, I think it's like 100,000 or, or a little more. But in that time, we have definitely changed the lactose intolerance idea, or lactose tolerance rather is like these are adaptations it's it, it's just what is now is not over you know it's it's not the way dna works it's always changing sometimes it's bad changes that don't that result in that like death or or like not advantageous uh things but other times you know it, it'll carry on and it's it's interesting in the way that society is where there's no there's no real survival of the fittest in mankind to this day it's it's not really a thing where your survival is entirely dependent on your physical adaptations you know what i mean because because society helps helps keep keep everyone going um so i'm not making any statements about what should be done i'm just saying it's fascinating to think about and it's interesting to look at and see it happen i'm sure this exists but this conversation is making me really curious about a uh, fictional work like a book or movie or tv show that explores the notion of medium term evolution. Mm -hmm. Like a lot mm -hmm. of like sci-fi looks into the future, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, 
like Star Trek or something like Blade Runner, where it's like very dystopian and it's tech focused. It's about the the technological advances and discoveries that will happen and things that will exist that don't now that's even possible. But I feel like humans are always kind of humans and maybe it's more subtle. Maybe mm-hmm. some of these authors are more creative and, and than I, than I perceived in the work, but I like the idea of like a, a near maybe quasi near future sci-fi book where technology advances at a relatively realistic rate as far as we can figure Mm -hmm. but evolutionary uh idiosyncrasies begin to show as as compared to like the 20th century 21st century Mm -hmm. what we're familiar with that would be really interesting be really subtle because Mm -hmm. even you know until you get like thousands of years into the future or more evolution is pretty subtle and pretty slow Mm -hmm. but i wonder if that exists or if anyone's explored that because that would be really interesting i'm sure i'm sure they have I, I, I often wonder, because the ambition right now is just, like, get a colony on Mars or the moon. And, and it'll be fascinating yeah. because in, a, in, like, a couple dozen generations of people living on either the moon or Mars will basically create different people with different adaptations. Like, uh, like with, with the moon, there's, like, a, a lot more radiation from, like, you know, the sun. So will, will like, the adaptations be for for people to generally have darker skin uh with mars they get less like it's uh, less gravity on the moon too are they going to be taller but with brittle bones like it's strange to think about these these kind of like adaptations that could arise or changes that even without selective choices it just happens because of genetics and the the flexibility of genes and again this isn't making any like claims of what's good or bad it's just a thought experiment because just with like higher gravity worlds that in sci-fi i think it is a thing that 40k explores is where high gravity worlds can have like they, their population is generally uh much shorter because their bones are super dense to resist the amount of gravity so it is something to think about it's have it's you seen um the show the expanse where they have like the oh god i forget what they call them but there's like a group of people that grow up like on space stations and not on a planet and like they have to like have injections before they can go onto a planet's surface because the gravity will affect them so negatively and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it's interesting. That's interesting too. But I feel like by the time we get that far, advances in genetic engineering itself will probably be a thing where we can actually affect cells either like, you know, when a baby's still in the womb or whatever have you, or maybe even post birth. I don't know. But that, I mean, that's also something like if there's genetic faults or things that we, I don't know, cosmetic things people want to pay to have removed or done or whatever. I imagine that's also going to be something that affects, I don't know how it'll affect evolution itself, but whenever you don't have to depend on evolution for change and you can just engineer changes yourself, that's an intriguing and also terrifying thought too. Yeah, that is one. Because it, it makes you wonder if that would also, I mean, I guess, it, I don't know if that, how that could impact evolution itself because no one. it's not like everyone's going to have the same stuff done, but who knows? Who knows how the hell we're going to fuck ourselves up, I guess. I mean, you, you see it today with, like, plastic surgery. There's there's obviously people that want to look different. Um, so Yeah, if... but that's not fixing... That's not changing us, like, in the in the DNA strands quite so much, I don't think. I mean, it yeah, is but a change. I, I guess I'm, it's a physical change. I'm but... saying that if there was a potential to take that further and actually make a physical change, yeah. then I, I definitely think there would be people that would want to do that, for better oh, or yeah. worse. Someone wants, like, glowing purple skin, and if that's possible to program into their DNA, I'm sure that's going to happen, you know? Like, uh, yeah. I think there will be a subset of the population that wants to have a more baseline to what you know, humanity is, but uh, you know, the future is going to be um, interesting. Definitely interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I mean, on top of that, we've also got, did you guys see the story about the, uh, I think it was a, a mouse that was cryogenically frozen and woken up. I mean, there's a whole lot of sci-fi possibility stuff that's seemingly somewhat within reach. Mm-hmm. But they that's actually cool. froze, I think it was a mouse. They actually froze one like cryogenically froze one, and then we're able to wake it up after some amount of time. I, I don't remember how long it was. Does anyone know the time frame of that? Let me see. Which was this about? What was this about? This just came out like a couple weeks ago that I saw. It was a ferret. Oh, yeah. The was, Wasn't was this like a an old species of ferret that they brought back or something like that? Cryogenic corpses could be brought back in 10 years. That's an article from 2018. Um, 
I know that there was something with a ferret or a mouse or something. I can't remember what it... Yeah. I, I can't find the story right now, but I just saw something about it, like, I swear, like, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I vaguely remember something like that. A lot of people in um, in chat are mentioning CRISPR, and yes, CRISPR is, is definitely something to, uh, to think about. But also, it's interesting because CRISPR is just, like, the first generation of that tech. Like, like genes in themselves are so unbelievably complex and so filled with random what is apparent to be junk data that it's 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 like oh it's unbelievable how complex the genetic like structure of our bodies is like how much data is stored and we still don't know exactly what every single strand of data does and how if you change one it might affect how another gene is expressed it's very complicated it's unbelievably complicated um, but. At the same time, uh, CRISPR is also just the first generation of gene editing. There's another already. I forget what the name of it, but I saw an article about it. Um, started with a B, I think. There was a there was another there was another form of uh... Brisper. <laughs> yeah, Brisper. <laughs> yeah, Brisper. <laughs> yeah, there's that Brisper. The one? Brisper. Just wait for Is. I don't know if I want to cryogenic Bris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, people are saying the black-footed ferret. Sure. Yeah, I saw people mentioning that too. Mm -hmm. Missed that guy. Yeah. Did you find the honestly? Story though, if I was gonna go through having a brisk, probably being cryogenically frozen while that happened would be for the best. But I just want to say this because this is seems to have come up in uh, chat, and I feel like this is an important piece of uh, information to clarify. Some vaccines use mRNA to create immunity mm -hmm. no that does not alter your dna mm -hmm. mrna is a type of uh, intermediate uh, protein chain or whatever it's a type of chain of the the proteins that is used to construct new cells or new tissue or whatever i'm not an expert on this rna does not combine with your dna it does not alter your dna introducing rna in the form of a vaccine is like giving your body the instructions that it needs to create the antibodies. It is not the same as genetic modification. Don't talk about that dumb anti-vax shit in mm. our in my chat. But yeah. my that neighbor two houses down got the got the vaccine, and I saw him asexually reproduce while checking his mail. <laughs> Just split right in half into two yeah, tongues. No. I've seen that. I've seen that. <laughs> Oh, because it's so fascinating to me like the, the the idea that people think that that's possible that if you just get a little a little mrna and you, you're just going to completely turn into a blob of goo um <laughs> here's here's an example of why that's crazy because literally viruses work by injecting your cells with RNA, their RNA, oh. RNA is is ribonucleic acid. Um, it's it's a messenger mRNA is messenger RNA. It's is it? I don't want to. I think I might be wrong I, about I that. I think that's right, but is I don't right? know if that's the right term. Either way, oh. RNA is an it's what it does. Yeah, it's an instruction, and all that instruction does is tell your cell to do something. It makes a molecule, and what the virus injects is a copy of itself. So it tells your cell to make more of itself. That's all a messenger does. It doesn't change your DNA. It tells what your cells are already doing to stop doing that and do this. And that's basically how the vaccine works. It puts in a messenger into your cell that tells it to print a specific spike protein so that your body can look at the spike protein, which just so happens to be attached to the COVID-19 virus and is how it it. it, it injects itself into your cells to look out for that specific attachment and by doing that your body is like oh, i see this there's a great tiktok that explains it well like oddly enough i hate like i hate to say it but there's a fantastic tiktok that explains this whole process because once it knows what it's looking out for then it can stop it before it becomes a problem in the different scenario where you don't have a vaccine and you get a virus in you your body doesn't know what it's looking for until it becomes a problem enough that it trips up your immune system to go on the hunt for something your body will be like something's wrong 
I'm going to find it. And then it goes looking. And when it finds the virus, it eats the virus. It looks up what the virus is made of. It goes back to your immune system. This is all very complicated, much more complicated than this. It goes back to your immune system. It tells your bigger overall immune system being like, I found this. It's horrible. And the body's like, holy shit, what is that? And then it makes antibodies to be able to stop that specific one, sends the antibodies out. Now all of the white blood cells that have been looking blindly are like, we're looking for this. Go get them. And there he is. Spotlight on the virus kill the virus, that's how it works. What the vaccine does is gives those instructions that would have been 10 steps into the process right at the beginning. So your body knows what to look for right away. That's how vaccines work. In the other scary thing though about oh, the vaccine, yeah. 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 Is mm -hmm. if you get those instructions right away and you start printing out these antibodies, like what if your body doesn't have time to get more ink for the printer and you overdo it and you run out of antibody ink? Yeah, that is a problem. HP has really uh, jacked up the prices. <laughs> yeah. And I've heard if you don't use their subscription service, they'll actually software lock you out of using your old <laughs> cartridges because they can tell when you refill See, it yourself. So you're, this is why really, some anti-vaxxers really, have good points. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. really it's corporate stupid. America holding you down. <laughs> On the vaccine I front. I can't even pretend to agree. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Just... No, all this talk, you know what this talk is making me want? Yeah. What's it? In this age Shrimp? of remaking classic movies that were before their time and deserve a remake, and the remake is totally good and not at all terrible. I want a remake of Osmosis Jones with Markiplier oh. and Manic Markiplier as all characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> Live action Osmosis Jones starring Mark, 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 Markiplier, Mark, and Mark. It uh, was Marcus Jones. You know, Osmosis Jones would have been better if Bill Murray played every character in his own body. I agree. <laughs> I mean, it only makes sense. That's I forgot why... it was his body. Yeah, it's his giant zit on his head that's the scene yeah. that still haunts my dreams forever. <laughs> that literally that moment of that enormous zit just exploding <laughs> and hitting that poor lady in the face, that has stuck with me since the first time I saw that movie. And still every time I like I'm, I it comes up and I think about it, I shudder. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, and I don't like it. Yeah, no, nah, that's no good. Yeah. Anyways, you could do that, Mark. Just get on that. All um, right, I'll get on that. I'll call, like up, to watch that I'll call up whoever owns that. What is it, Warner Brothers? I'll call them up. Yeah, probably. Yeah, my manager, Ben. Hey, get on get on that, please. Hey, Ben. Yeah, Ben. Make I need to up. listen to these. <laughs> <clears throat> you just follow Mark around. I, I think Evans listens to these sometimes, so Evan might be listening. Evan. He does, because he'll text us. He texts <laughs> Bob. And I'm just like, hey, I, this reminds me of this thing that we did on tour. Like, you know, He'll text us random stuff throughout the stream sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Molly and I signed up to be put on the list for the vaccine. We're, I, they, it was, I, was, I was hesitant to do it because I didn't want to like jump in front of people that needed it more than us. But thankfully, the process was one where it's like you give all of your information, your age and stuff like that, and they like allocate you accordingly to your need. So yeah. I felt a lot better about the process after actually going through it. So if you guys have the option to be put on a list for the vaccine, uh, at least the one we signed up for, they did have like a pretty good vetting process where it seemed like they're going to put us in the bracket where it's like, okay, now we have enough to where you pretty healthy, you know, 25 to 40 year olds belong. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. yeah, there's no such thing as that. Don't be afraid you're stealing someone's dose. They won't yeah. give you one unless it's literally either you're eligible and next or it's wasted. Yeah. I have a couple of friends who've gotten vaccinated because the one, the whatever, the one that needs to be refrigerated, the modern, Moderna one or whatever, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it once it's prepped, there's a limited amount of time. If they have a dose that's been prepped and it's in the refrigerator, it has a countdown timer. And literally, it either goes bad or it gets injected into a human. So, like, if you mm -hmm. can get one, get one. Do yeah. it. And don't and get, take the Johnson & Johnson one, too. They, they seem to have fixed their marketing, but... When the Johnson & Johnson one first was announced and they were like, yeah, it's like 60% effective. I could hear the comments on Twitter. I could hear people <laughs> actively in my in the back of my mind just being like, 60, I don't want the shitty vaccine. <laughs> it becomes more effective over time. After the, after I think it's after three weeks after your injection of the Johnson & Johnson one, mm -hmm. it is equally effective as the other vaccines 
It is they the way they announced their f- efficacy and the and the way the thing works originally was terrible, but yeah. it's a great vaccine. You just need to let it take full effect. It is yeah. equally as effective. It is just not as expeditiously effective. But mm-hmm. any vaccine you can get, do it. And if you need, if you get one with a second dose, go get your second dose. Just go get it. Go. Yeah, I can't imagine doing that. Ruins that. Not, not only did you waste those doses you're still not that's like the dumbest thing you could do just don't get one i guess if you're gonna be like that but do i want to address something real quick if i could uh Mm -hmm. in chat um we like to have open conversation mark bob and i like to talk about a lot of stuff and in chat we like to hear your guys opinions on things but like just flat out wrong things i I believe anti-vaxxation is wrong and if those kind of comments get deleted or moderated out and stuff uh it's because i feel like just like with covid it's good to stop the spread of just stupidity so we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna cut that out a little bit yeah oh, sorry go on guys no i it's a good thing to say i'm pretty sure between the three of us uh if you have an opinion that is in any way anti-vaccination uh we're going to basically delete your message um, not because, dealing with misinformation being spread yeah on it. It, it, it is you're wrong please look up more better sources of information uh about that to uh refactor your opinion on the matter um there's there there's still someone and i always go back to this and i always think about that have you seen the story about the guy who was in the last iron lung no Wait, i'm an american like denying the first this amendment about this mm-hmm. i'm not the government guys this is a this is my private stream i can <laughs> yeah, <say> that, <laughs> not knowing how the constitution works yeah first amendment <laughs> what what Get do you think this is? Do you guys know what the amendments are for? Do you guys know they what no they idea. exist for? Yeah. Second Amendment says you can drink beer and have guns. First Amendment says I can say whatever I want. Shut up, libtards. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. mm-hmm. Pretty yeah. sure Bill of Rights, something yeah. to that effect. Yeah. No, the the last man, the iron lung. He, meant, he might not be the last one, but he's definitely, I think, in America, the last one. Uh, he still lives in an iron lung to this day. He's lived in an iron lung for pretty much his entire life. Um, and he has to, or else he will die because he got polio as a kid and polio. If you don't know about polio right now, that's a good thing. You know why? Cause we vaccinated against it and we basically got rid of it. I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty much extinct at this point, but I believe it exists in labs somewhere. And, you know, unlike some of the other ones like measles, it's not making a resurgence. Polio is terrible. Polio is a horrible, horrible disease that affects predominantly children, and it will cripple them for life if it's severe. And uh, in bad cases, you can live the rest of your life in a iron lung. And if you don't know what an iron lung is, that's also good because we don't need them anymore because we vaccinated against polio. And that's just one yeah. of so many diseases that we don't have to worry about like we we as a species I, I think we were talking about this earlier but we as a species um you know we it used to be that you pump out as many babies as you can because you counted on half of them dying that's yeah. not a thing we have to worry about these days but it will be if we get stupid and yeah. take like the goodness that we have for granted it's <sighs> it's infuriating because the lessons are right there in in a history book in in these phones that have so much information it, it's like the the actual concrete history of it is right there and the lessons to be gleaned from that might be lost to time if we forget to look at it so it's it's very important some of this stuff is eradicated like here but not everywhere right yeah. i don't know if it's polio specifically but i know Whenever you travel to some like different countries, like in South America or you know different uh, European countries or Africa, or whatever, I know you have to get like certain shots, or at least you used to have to get like certain shots and stuff before you're allowed to travel to those places because some things are still there or are there that aren't here. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know if it's is it smallpox or polio? Are, aren't one of those things still prevalent in um, countries outside of here? I think. I mean, I think... there are a lot of diseases that are more prevalent in in i guess developing countries because of yeah the way sanitation is managed because of the level of medical care or whatever that's available one, yeah. but yeah that some of them i believe smallpox is one that's maybe still in some parts of the world but has been basically eradicated from us as far as mm-hmm. i know yeah uh, but yeah it's uh, science is a miracle it's great 
Mm -hmm. uh, you should believe the scientists, though, or it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> God. Yeah. It feels crazy to have to say that. And, like, I totally understand not to empathize with uh, people that are acting crazy, but I understand the idea that you don't trust the government or you don't trust science because of something that's happened in your life. Like, everyone's story is a little bit different. And I don't think that distrusting sources or questioning things is bad, but you have to at some point accept if something is verified from different sources, if something can be repeated, has been repeated in labs, has been backed up by evidence from the real world. At some point you have to accept that a fact is basically proven and facts change. This is a thing that's hard about science and that a lot of people who want to, like in the anti-vax movement, who want to claim that vaccines are bullshit or that they're more harmful than they actually are, is that science will change its opinion because science doesn't actually care. Scientists and science as a, as a practice don't actually care like what currently is believed. There's a bias towards what we think is correct. There's a bias towards it. But if facts arise, if, if research arises that change the landscape of what we know about a certain disease or medicine or something, suddenly it's different. Suddenly science says something different and it could do a complete 180. Medicine could say one day that, uh, you know, this medicine is how you treat this disease. Top, top medicine for whatever disease, you know, prescribe this first. And the next day, don't prescribe it for anything. Turns out it may cause this is a specific type of cancer. Turns out yeah. it may cause respiratory issues with underlying, you know, in combination with other drugs or another underlying conditions or something. It doesn't matter if science says one thing one day and a complete opposite thing the next day. The point of science is that it's the current information. They're using their best information that they have to make the most educated decision. It hurts my soul so much. All the arguments that you see online of people who are like, well, the, sci the scientists can't even decide. They can't even unify. They don't know. Some scientists say, you know, masks are bad. Some scientists say masks are good. Yeah, from what I've seen, the scientists who say masks are bad are the kind of scientists where you do air quotes when you say scientists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the scientists who say that masks are effective in reducing aerosolized, uh, you know, droplets in the air from, from being blown out your mouth and nose those are real scientists and they have real data. It's hard. I'm not a scientist. I don't understand what they're saying a lot of time. A lot of people are just doing their best, but you have, at some point you have to say like, okay, this seems legitimate. This research seems legitimate. And you, you can't just be like, I don't trust it because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Mm. It doesn't make sense. Some science is counterintuitive. Some science is too complicated for a normal person to really understand the whole concept. But like, it's a process. There's a whole process. Yeah. If science is not peer-reviewed and published, that's not as good as peer-reviewed published science. But peer-reviewed published science can be bullshit too. It can be fudged. The numbers can be made up. You could be a statistician from Duke who absolutely fabricated data in order to back up his conclusions. Things happen. But like, just because it's science doesn't mean you can question it. You have to, you have to believe yeah. in something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's certain topics that I mean, there's certain things that we can debate because it, it's hard to know what the right answer is. But there's certain things like, I don't know, human rights, equality, uh, whether or not trying to eradicate bad diseases. Like there's just certain things that I don't think there's really a, a debate for. And a lot of times people hear some, I don't know if it's like family or what they're watching or reading what it is. But they hear some batshit crazy reason for not getting a vaccine or not doing this or not doing that. And instead of doing any of the research, they just, they hear it. They're like, ah, that must be fact. And then spew it as such. And it, it just blows my mind how much ego gets in the way of people ever learning. People like philosophy, I, as useless as the degree is, was the most humbling and amazing major to have because it really opened my eyes to how much I didn't know. And I try to approach different things. I try to look at different topics, you know, uh, maybe I'll have an opinion going in. I'll think like, oh, okay, I think I know what's best for this. Uh, and then you actually look into it. It's like, mm, man, I was actually wrong. And it's hard to get to the point where you're willing to admit that you're wrong. I know a lot of people out there struggle with that, but like, man, oh man, if you find yourself like really believe in something that, uh, I'm not saying the majority is always right. Cause that's not true. But 
it's things like is getting vaccinated for a disease bad maybe do some of the research instead of just going around spewing that info and look at scientists without air quotes for that information because mm -hmm. jesus christ like that some opinions out there hurt they physically cause me pain to see because they are just so implausibly wrong yeah my favorite kind of thing uh is this has been big since the mask uh mandates have been a thing and since the pandemic has been a thing is the people with who use the spray bottle and and we'll have like a cloth mask and a paper mask and we'll they'll spray the spray bottle and be like see sprays out and they'll spray the spray bottle through each of the different kinds of masks and some of it goes through but it's obviously visually a, a smaller amount of particles getting through and they're like none of these stop it do you see that do you see this the water getting right through the mask they don't protect you from anything and like and they post that on social media on youtube it's stuff like that where it's like even though the, they are creating their own evidence that backs up my position and then claiming their own position. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for yeah. people like that. I, you know, yeah. I think I, a lot of it comes from fear. I think it, a lot of it stems directly from fear because uncertainty is scary for a lot of people. They want to feel, the average person wants to feel like they can contribute just as much as every other person. And the reality is, unfortunately, that's not true. Um, there are people that have trained their whole life to be, you know, an expert in a certain field. But but if you're at home, I like, I, I kind of get it. If you're at home, you all you have is a computer and yourself. And you're like, there's something going on out there and I want to get to the truth. And you're not an expert in the field, but you feel confident enough that you could discern the truth. And that's where it comes from. Because although uncertainty is scary, certainty is dangerous. It can be. Because if you are certain without the expectation that you could be wrong, it's... It's it's it can lead to a lot of very dangerous things and the internet has been very good at helping this misinformation just kind of spread and confirmation yeah. bias because then a lot of people who are not experts can come to the same conclusion and there are more not experts than experts so the big conglomeration of not experts suddenly have an entire uh, group of people that they agree with but none of them are experts so they all like build their own information bases and it's all coming from a flawed perspective because they are so certain. <laughs> When, and there's many famous quotes about arguing with stupid people or arguing with someone that believes they're right. And, and it's all it's an all an impossibility because it, like for for those people, for them to accept that they're wrong is scarier than being uh, not in the argument at all. You know what I mean? And it's it's hard for people to step out of the way. One of the one of the biggest um, things that, you know, I've seen recently it was like, you know, Dr. Fauci maybe about six months ago or five months ago was said like said something to the effect of there's no data that two masks are better than one for this particular like virus and he said that because there was no data to it right. that he could quote and people took that being like ha see two masks aren't better but what he said was there's no data and as soon right. as the data came out that oh yeah two masks are better than one they can make that recommendation if people want it you know and then he can come say it, and then they're like oh look inconsistency changed his mind and it's like no they follow the data it's the best guess backed up with evidence with yes. scientifically vetted evidence and scientists are willing to be wrong because because if being wrong is is a net negative they want to be closer to the truth they want to be closer to the correct answer all the time and if they're a good scientist they're willing to be wrong and i am always willing to be wrong i'm not even a scientist yeah, no yeah i feel like it's important to say this too because i this is something i deal with a lot uh, in when talking about this it sounds like we're preaching and i mean we are right now we're, we're we're talking about i feel like what we believe what we think is a good mindset to have an approach to facts and reality but I'm guilty of this too, and I'm sure Wade yep. and Mark are. Mm -hmm. I, sure I have conclusions in my head that aren't supported by anything that I think are correct because I think 100%. them and that's it. I've, I have totally been proven wrong before and it's taken way too much time and information to change my mind on things. Everyone is guilty of this. It sounds yeah. so much because people talk about, have I've seen people talking about this publicly a lot in different settings. And it, it, there's always this reaction of like, oh, you preach to me, like you know everything. 
Like you're so you're better than me. You know the truth. I don't. I don't think any of the three of us would claim to know everything about anything. That's the point. Yeah. The point is not that we are telling you what's correct or true. We're telling you maybe what evidence we believe and why we think something is true and what our conclusion is. The point is you have to be willing, like Mark said, to be wrong. You have to be willing to change your mind. I am guilty of that as as much as any other person having my own foregone conclusions that are completely false and based on nothing. It's it's a human nature. You have to sort of do that in life. It's complicated. There's a lot of stuff you don't know about. You have to draw conclusions and do your best. But if there's new information, you have to be willing to change your mind. Mm-hmm. It's and don't... not flip-flopping. Oh, it's it's accepting new information and being open to what is what now the facts lead you to conclude. What is now the best answer to this question? And don't take our word on anything. Um Absolutely. Don't take any content creator, anyone that you look up to, an actor, any anybody. Don't take our word for this stuff. We're telling you what we think is right, but the point isn't to listen to us, to listen to your parents, to listen to anyone that tells you something. The point is you need to be doing your own research, your own critical thinking, your own analyzing. Don't assume that what you think is automatically right either. There is literally evidence out there. Lots of it. Don't look for just stuff that counters your thoughts. Don't look for stuff that just supports your thoughts. Look at it all, take it in, and try to come to the best conclusion that you can exterior of what we say to you. Us saying this stuff is because it's what we think. Mark went through a very detailed process of uh, how vaccinations and stuff works, but I don't know how much recently he's looked into it. He might have misspoken or missed something there. The important thing is that we are telling you not to just blindly trust sources, and that includes us. Please do your own research, come to your own conclusions, but do your own research and come to your own conclusions, please. I will, I will say a caveat of that is, is do trust experts. That's that's what that's I would both. say. Yeah, that yeah, experts trust in the, the field, experts yeah. in the field. We are not. We experts. are not. Yeah, I think the point he's making. And also, being wrong is not losing. Being right yeah. is not winning because this yeah. isn't about winning and losing arguments. This is about saving lives and people lose sight of that fact. It's not yeah. about being better than someone. It's not about, oh, I had the right idea from the get go. I'm better. I did. It's not what it's about. It's about making less people die. That's all. That's all it's ever been about. That's all every single measure has been about making yeah. less people die. And because at the end of the day, with this virus and with many crises that come down to people's lives, it's a net gain of survival. And that's all it ever is. So keep that in mind with everything. I feel like it's very difficult to, especially on subjects we're not too familiar with, to know disinformation versus real information without doing a lot of digging. And I think it's easy to go in with a preconceived mindset and find, like you said, like-minded thinkers and just think like, hmm, we're right, everyone else is wrong. And that, like you said, Mark, right versus wrong is a very dangerous mentality when it comes to facts, especially on things that are controversial. Maybe that shouldn't be. I feel like vaccinations is one of those topics. I feel like talking about human rights is one of those topics. Uh, People being treated equal is one of those. There's so many things that are controversial that have been politicized and stuff that just flat out shouldn't be. Uh, and it's awful, but it's also equally important to make sure you guys understand that when we tell you to not trust just anyone you hear, do trust the experts, look at what different experts say, don't just trust one, look at multiple, Um, but don't blindly follow anybody, parent, friend, content creator, whatever. It doesn't matter how many people are here like, yeah, Wade, preach it, you right. Uh, I might not be. That's possible. So Probably. Put in, put in the work. I definitely Probably know. Often, I've yeah. been misinformed about some of the stuff we talk about on this. And usually it's inconsequential, but some of it, you know, we're talking about vaccines and other serious issues. Yeah. I'm probably misinformed on at least some of what we've talked about that is cr- is yeah. actually important and, and impactful on people's lives. You need, you need as much info as you can get and you want it to be the best info you can get, mm-hmm. which is hard. But that's, you know, that's how you be a good person. Mm-hmm. but a good a good member of society and we do live in a society so <sighs> you guys want to play video games sure yeah, i got a little time for it i could do that we you didn't got... um we didn't pick anything did we oh well, yeah we did. oh no we were gonna play right the one yeah yeah, yeah. the one 
Yeah. Apologies, guys. We would, we would game longer today, but after the near uh, ac or after the near death experience I had, Mark's trying really hard to figure out how to one up me for another hospital video coming out sometime in the next two months. Yeah, I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be delivering that very soon. You will not get the best of me, sir. No way. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to start 2021 by one up in your broken foot, man. Mm, that's okay. Well, I'll just break the other one. Just wait till you see what happens to me in the next six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gonna happen, and it was gonna be like, were they trying to one up each other? They... I thought it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! I didn't even have it installed. Oh god. Oh, Can that's we right. Remind Wade computer. which one we're trying to launch because Wade doesn't remember. One. Do. one, one, oh, one. Got it. The one, one, the one, the one. Yeah, yeah, the one. One. Oh, I do I gotta it, log that's into that stupid? That. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Isn't there? Oh, isn't there no, a, an no, all no. Steam version of it? Is that oh, not a thing? No, uh, not the last time I remember. Oh no. Huh. Okay. Oh, was that TikTok song? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Maybe no. The hell is this? What just happened? <laughs> Ubisoft Connect. Thank you for existing. I love you, and you're not at all the worst thing on my computer. JP and Zombie Mold have told me I should be doing TikTok for like the past year. They're like, man, with your voices and the stuff you do, you'd be great on TikTok. I haven't even brought myself to look at TikTok, dude. You could be like. One of those out of touch grandparent accounts on TikTok where like it's funny, like you laugh at it, but also it's kind of charming because it's so sincere. I feel like you have the right kind of humor for that 100%. Uh, Maybe one day I'll try it. Uh, or you could just do, what's that girl's name? Bella Porch, who's like one of the biggest TikTokers and all she does is a lip sync to songs with the one effect that zooms in on your face and looks really weird. I mean, zooms in. I, it's I think you I, should look it up. Check out Bella Porch. About. Classic. I think that's her name. Well, look, all I do is talk over video games. So what can I criticize? Anything you want. That's not true. You've also <laughs> smashed Goddamn bricks King. over. Your, you know, I went back and I watched Markiplier's Magic Touch the other day. Remember that one? <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I went back and I watched Unis Honest the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are trying to make it pop, uh, trying to make it possible, but they're they're getting exterminated. Which I'm really, I always enjoy seeing them just disappear. Yeah. They're all me. I have Fucking to download feeds. Ubisoft Connect. Oh my Ooh. god! Kill Ooh. me! Ooh. Well, I know a, I know a semi driver that might be willing to try. <laughs> oh. oh. Good mm. God! Why didn't Steam just install? Probably because they didn't allow it to be ran simultaneously. Uh, yeah, feel like we got to start there. Uh, 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 mm? uh, that's the one. Hang on one second. Oh my goodness, this is awful. This is hell, everybody. This is hell. Ubisoft creates hell. That's what I'm saying out loud. Oh. There's an invite. That invite screen feels. Wouldn't that be id software? Different. Id? No. Ubisoft. It is Bethesda, I believe. <sighs> I know. Then they make that game, the hell, hell game, Doom. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Ooh. Mark, I just got notified that you're online. Was your install <laughs> successful? Yeah, man. Man, Great. really good stuff. I'm glad this opened an entire another client. Yeah, I love oh, it's, that. It's the best. This is a beautiful system. They'll make it convenient by Wait, there's a new deck? Up for a Chris, there's a new deck? <laughs> Why are you on that monitor? Why are you over there? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close. Oh, Don't accept my invite. I'm closing this down. Hold on. Apparently there's a oh. new deck. I might need to go snag it. God, there's a new deck. Ubisoft, I hate you so much. Do, we have, to, so do we have to download that to have it? Or I'm not sure. Do you guys know if only the host needs to have it, Chet? Or does it? Does everyone need to have it? Oh. How many hours do you have in this game? How do you... What, you, what, you, know, you know things. Just you everyone's, know I think, always gotten it. You know, you know. <laughs> That's not how it's only hosts. You know. What's it called? Immortals deck? I don't see that as a thing. You Are you know. all lying to me? Did you just get absolutely? I might have just gotten on. absolutely plagued because I see 
Winter theme, Just Dance theme, Rain Man theme, and Flip theme. I've already got all of those. Mark's having a a, a mid midlife crisis or something right now. I think it's fine. Where's the settings? Why is the settings there? I don't want the settings. The there. Phoenix's quest. How is what? How was I supposed to get immortals out of Phoenix's quest? I don't know who Phoenix is. Who is he's an, what is he's this? an immortal? Five dollars. Alright. Are you doing it, Wade? Yeah, I'm getting it. Okay, I finally it's got the less game going. dollars I have to go toward my next car. Why would you buy another car with all the rampaging semis on the road? I kind of don't want to, but I also like the idea of having a car, so I don't know. I'm also torn because, like, it's kind of a... I was, I was really glad I got my car when I did, because I was like, man, this thing lasts me like 10, 15 years, and by the time it's, like, mandatory that everyone has electric cars... Um, I'll be, it'll be time for me to upgrade. And now I'm kind of in that limbo of like, do I spend way more than I should for probably a somewhat inefficient electric car compared to what will be the thing in 10 years? Or do I get another gas powered car? It's like, what do I do? Yeah. The option for electric cars suck right now. I don't know. I, mean, I haven't looked. I haven't even thought about looking. No I was good. I was ones. set. Take they, that Ellen. They all blow. They do all blow. They're all overpriced garbage owned by a-holes. Just buy a semi. <laughs> you could, yeah. Damn. You need like a special license for that shit. That's not the way. Too to soon, live. Bailey. Too soon. So listen, the car, the code Mark two seven zero two still works. By the way, I just want to throw that. Doesn't out there. I thought they took that away? Oh, you can still get referrals. I still I'm entered to win a Roadster. You know, oh, once a month I have a drawing. You know, so Mark two seven zero two for all your Tesla needs. Uh, pretty good. Get yourself a Cybertruck. Hey, you like it, right, Wade? <laughs> Everybody likes the Cybertruck, and nobody thinks it's an ugly sin against nature. Not oh, a yeah. one, no, not even a little one, no, Where? not at all. Am I stupid? Where's this deck? It didn't. There was, it didn't pop up to install. It's, I looked. To, I looked to see if it was going to install something, and it didn't show up there. But it did ask me if I wanted to bind it to my account, so I assumed that meant that it was installed. Yeah, Let me relaunch again. That sounds about right. Well, don't starve together as an update. I'll make sure I update that. Maybe that'll fix it now. Look at its durable glass. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know how confident you have to be to take a sledgehammer or like a solid steel ball or a softball or whatever they threw at that window. But just like, I don't know of any car company would that would be that confident of glass. Like unless it's like bulletproof, I think it's... Newly acquired I mean, DLC even is if it is bulletproof, mm -hmm. th yeah. that doesn't mean it doesn't shatter when it gets shot by a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> bulletproof glass absorbs and disperses the impact by al by allowing the bullet to penetrate it and dispersing the energy through itself mm -hmm. by shattering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, Mark 2702, it's an excellent code. Great code, actually. Do you have to actually own a Tesla product to get a code? I think so, yes. Damn. What's the cheapest Tesla thing I could buy to get a competing code with that? Well, Mark, you forgot I had an accident. That means you're going to buy me a Tesla, right? I could figure Is out that how that works. To make it work. I, could, I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. All right. The, okay. the but... slammed man follow up series. <laughs> Slam. Slam. Actually, no, hold on. Just like, you know, that's like yeah, I gotta, get, I gotta get in some accidents and shit so I can get a mini series on Mark's channel. God damn. Listen, Mark likes hospital videos. I like Mark channel videos. We both yeah, have our obsessions. How, exactly, how I get in exactly, on this action. Exactly. Uh, get, have something horrible happen. God. Uh, Where the fuck? This deck doesn't exist. Am I doing something wrong? How do I. It seems like you're doing something wrong. Yeah, I don't see any new decks anywhere. It's called Phoenix, 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 Phoenix no, something. Phoenix. -E I think it's definitely Phoenix. <laughs> Where are you looking? Are you seeing this on the, like the community page or like the? I literally I went to Uno's store page and then like they have their DLCs underneath and it's the top one. 
It's like F E N Y X. Yeah, buy it. Fen Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, no, Mark, that's mm -hmm. the that's the one. I'm moving, right? Can we do the Moved Man series? The Moved it's Man. It's very I traumatic. Like that. I it's like terrible. That. Oh, I like You technically it. were moving before I got hit, so you could get yours to before mine, but okay. I definitely want my Slammed Man series now. Slammed Man. It might not be what you think it'll be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as it pays, man. It's, I'm, I'm at the point in life where I just don't really care. Wade will do, do anything for money. Do what you want to me. <laughs> All right. If it means I can pay my bills one more month, who cares where you put what? All right, man. Ye All right. Yeehaw? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you done yet? I yeah, can't what, find I it. thought we were waiting on Mark, but now we're waiting on someone else. Yeah, what is this all I'm about? I'm just going to, you know, let's we'll play a regular game of uh, Rayman or something, and then I'll try, maybe it takes a minute. I well, don't know. I got like 30 minutes, so what's the deal, man? What's the deal? Come on, man. Come on, man. I, I wish I knew. All the other packs just show up, but not this one. Come Sounds on. like a you problem, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Wait, they put built-in video chat into this? Awesome. What? I just saw a pop-up tip yeah, screen. Yeah, you can like... actually... Yeah, you can play... Instead of having your static image, you can have your camera work. Oh, JP's hell yeah. JP's turned it on. Hmm. We gotta do that. Then well, we can see each other. Well, I don't know if it'll work with, like, OBS already sucking up all the camera juice, so it might not. Oh, well, I'll turn mine on, and that'll benefit you, but not me. Let's go. <laughs> I sent you guys invites to the lobby, but I still can't find the new decks. We'll just play the other one. Uh, video wait. chat on friends. Oh, on they changed how this looks. Where are my invites? Where are my invites? What? Where? This is useless. This is useless. You okay, pal? Is it a Steam invite? No, it's, no, in... it's through Ubisoft's bullshit. Yeah, I'm where I'm in. Which yeah, tab you are. are they I didn't under? mean to click on your card. I was trying to send the invite, and your your face. I thought I broke it, Marcus. I, I went to invite Bob again, and your face just took over my screen. Is it, is it my camera? Why did they get rid of no. the place no. where the invites go? I think that that might only show up when we're actually in the match. Oh wait, here it is. Except. Hi. There he hey. is. There he right. is. All right. Okay. Well, let's get in and try this since we're Mark's on a, a tight leash or a tight a tight leash. Mark's on a tight leash, everyone. Mark is on a small underwear. Yeah. Uh, yes, and but your camera's not working right oh, now. I still it. see your pictures. Hang on one second. I gotta I gotta fix my camera position. Uh, ba 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 ba. One second. One second. One second. Oh, I... Don't worry, Mark. It's definitely your turn. Okay, hang on. God, no! Oh, what is wrong with my camera? Oh, are you seeing Couldn't that? Tell you. No. What is happening? Oh, what, are you seeing yourself on, truly for the first time? Hang oh, on. Bob, there went your turn. No, I know yeah, no one. Well, I, know I thought no we one. were. I thought we were setting stuff up. Oh my God, it's a nightmare. I gotta. I gotta just show it enough and then take it away. Okay, so this is the nightmare. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, uh, this. Uh, video uh, chat. This. Oh, I can't turn video drone. chat on. Apparently, you have to do video oh, chat second, before second, you get second. into a game. Yeah, no, That's video. Really I, mean, I can back us up, being as this no, is starting no, off. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm back oh, in. No. I'm in it to work good. Well, I'm glad you're answering on behalf of Bob as well, Mark. Bob's good. It's... See, I, I wasn't even here, and I'm doing good. You are doing better than me. Yeah. Well, Oops. he did hit you with a plus hand four. Hand was bomb. off the keyboard. Oh, did, he did yeah. hit with that. I did plus hit him with four. a plus four. I did hit with a plus four. Test, test, test. Is, is there static on my mic or do I sound okay? You sound you fine sound to good? me. Okay. I hear something, but maybe it's not. It's probably me. yourself. <gasps> Yikes! <sighs> I guess I'll do nothing then. Oh, good. How, Skip how good are you doing, Mark? Oh, Great, never mind. actually. Take that. You hey, see. take that. I mean, take that. I don't think that, I don't think that doubles up. <laughs> Got him. All right. I don't have that color. I have a three. Oh, fucking hell. 
<laughs> do, do you have this color? No, oh, it's no, the same, okay, well. but I drew this color. Okay, cool. Um, There. My cards are really That's... boring. I got nothing to do. Mark, get him. Well, never I'm going to get him. <laughs> get just, registered, him. just registered to me oh. what you had said. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That's the stuff. I know, right? Oh, for oh, fuck's sake! Oh, Thank you, Mark. Thank I got you saved you. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't why, have saved you Why would you, you save this, I man? didn't know! Look, I was just panicking. Oh, That's make why! Make it green. Make it green. <laughs> why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do that? <laughs> they bluff sometimes. Do they? Well, not with three cards left. Well, you... I... Uh, mm. Uh-huh, mm. good points. Wait, these cards look different. What's different about this? Am I crazy? Yeah, they do look different, right? What what's happened? Now see about Mark, that. get him. I well, I mean, I don't want to do this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, that's fine, it's fine. I mean, I I I, I There's guess. There's plenty of sevens left in the deck. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you really set me up for this one, Mark. Yeah, this is not gonna last long. <laughs> All right. Go well, team. I got my hand back. Hooray. <laughs> That was short-lived. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> me and the computer are who switched hands after all that. Why? Yeah, sure are. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. <laughs> no, that's not even a good color. You know what? There's yeah, nothing good that? in this world. I'm challenging it. All right, that's fair. I get that. Oh, oh look at those sevens you have, my Dude, friend. Dude, there are so many sevens out in the field right now. Wow. This is going to be a swap-tastic game. Yep. I'm Thank sure God, at least be. we're all getting rid of cars. Uh, oh, look at Tim! <laughs> oh, six, right? Or no, oh, no, just three oh it. my God! Now oh, I'm God. the only one without a plus. Se I have plus seven, all the sevens, seven? guys. Oh, uh, all of them. I say you don't the have seven. all of them, but well, all of them. Well, you hold on. Oh, you think you're gonna skip me? <laughs> but I think I. Oh, you can't jump in on those. That's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess. All right. You, Yay! you can't blame me. I didn't want to do it. Oh, let's just keep that trainer rolling. Yay! <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a good hand. I don't know what you're oh, so excited God. about. Does no one have greens? Uh, man, oh here, no, Mark, just me. You can it's look good. at his hand. All right, you cool. figure out something to do with that. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, fun. Uh, great. A uh, two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. Oh, okay. Hey, a two. There we go. Nicely done, hero. I don't know why I'm a <laughs> Thanks, NPC. Thanks, narrator. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Do I bring it around? Never mind. Well, you, you don't have that hand. Mark has that hand. I don't have that hand. What, what do you mean I don't have that hand? Aren't there plus twos in the... Hey, no, man. not in my hand. They went so around. I'm sure Glowbox fucking has it. Yeah. Somebody's got a hand with some plus twos. I know. I think Probably it's Glowbox. Glowbox. Gonna play them. Yeah. Got it. Oh, no. There really what isn't is much strategy oh, no, to be taken that advantage one. Hey, hey, oh. Come on, guys! Man, look at all those cards <laughs> I've got. Stop! That's cool. Uh, not much green there, eh, Wade? Uh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. Hey, man. It's just what I have! I don't have anything else, and not now I don't anymore. have it at all. But no one knows what I uh, have. <laughs> take this, glow box. That's mm, not gonna help okay. you. Oh, god damn it, this is this <laughs> hand! <laughs> <laughs> Mark, get get a get a. I'm gonna get him. Watch this, bam. Oh, oh. thank you, oh, blue box. Okay. Uh, Mark, don't get him. All right, I will stay the hand. <laughs> Shit, stay the course, buddy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> He's doomed, Bob. He's doomed. Oh, he's doomed. He's doomed. He's well, doomed. probably. He's doing get him, plus Mark. two of them. Oh, okay, all right. I'll do it. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. What? Someone could have jumped <laughs> in and chose not to. I felt that pause. <laughs> Aha! I... Oh, yeah. Get him, Mark. Oh, oh I'm I'll getting show him. you. Ha oh, ha! <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> Man, That's Mark, some goddamn punch Mark has a really aggressive hand. 
Oh no! Oh, why is that happening? Yeah, why? No, not that uh, one. Oh yeah, it's all fun oh, and games till you guys have a bad moment. Oh, okay, we can do this. Get a mark. Oh, did, for did you have green? Sake. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> God damn it! I have two cards. <laughs> hey, I have no, two cards. No, Mark has two yeah, cards. Yeah, I have. Two I think cards, you're looking at yeah. the wrong number. Did anyone see what just <sighs> happened there, or was that just me? All right. See what? Uh, this uh, way. Oh fuck mm. you! <laughs> Oh, oh god! Listen, Blowbox, buddy. Oh. All right, I got a problem for this solution. Ah, damn or it! Something like All that. All right, fine. That's okay. I'll take it. I'm a man. I can do it. I'm tough. Sure. Sure. Okay. Do this again. Uh huh? <laughs> Glowbox. Uh huh? <laughs> Just the guh of Una. <laughs> No, challenge! <laughs> so, whoops. Can you even see through that cloud? I can't see nothing. I could see it. You guys mm. didn't get to see it, but right, I could okay. see it. Alright, okay. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. <laughs> you alright? Okay, yeah, I'm fine. It's not as Wait, bad as it could have been. What about me? Get a mark. What am I gonna do? This? Get me, Mark. There you yeah, go! Get a mark. God damn it! <laughs> see? Get, get, get you, Mark. What am I gonna do? Bob, I'm get turning on you. No, yeah, I'm getting right. you now. Whatever this does. I don't remember what that does. Uh, oh, okay. Get, take oh, that! You're <laughs> me! <laughs> Good attack, Mark. You Thanks. got him. I, King of oh, strategy here. Well, that's nothing I can do about that. Sorry, bud. We're on the same team still, I promise. It's okay, bud. Promise. Yeah, I get that, bud. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Bud. Thank God. Now I can draw more cards. Oh, thank God. Dude, hey, just it keep yellow. green. What do you want, man? Yeah. Red? Maybe blue? I don't have any red. Well, uh, we're about to find out if that's the case. Hey! All right. I got all some right. of them. Get I him, have right, none right. of these. Get him. Oh, man. I'm all for him. <laughs> well, oh, well, well. Wait! Wait! <laughs> I almost died in an accident, and this is what you do to your friend? Look. Uh -huh. Milking it! Look, you didn't even get a sweet hospital pick. Well, like, what kind of... What kind of... What kind of YouTuber are you? I'm giving you this hand before I die. <laughs> Never oh. mind. I'm giving it to Glowbox <laughs> right now. Right, giving enough. it to somebody. Yeah. All oh, right. Bob, <laughs> <you're> right. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, Wade. I'm going to give you the opportunity to follow through on your promise. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, <laughs> Mark Plotter. I've been waiting for this day. And now your reckoning is here. <laughs> man, you really did it, man. You you got oh, me. You I got just me. Just remember that I let you get there, Wade. <laughs> that I set helped. up went exactly as I hoped. I it. thought, Obviously. Bob, you were on my team, but I, she, no, I was I betrayed. I am on your team, buddy. I'm on everybody's oh, okay. team. All right, that's except yours. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. ha, ha, ha. And finally, my revenge is coming to fruitition. Um, Fru fruish fruition is the word. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right. What Revenge color are you? Is a I, dish best served. I literally don't just remember. Had hand mark. Well, I what, wasn't looking at it. Yeah, yeah, what, what color do you are you afraid I of? He knows know. what goddamn color. He picked the only I one. I guessed which one based uh, on your attitude. Likely story. I, oh Jesus! Apple bottom fucking ballsmith. Balls? I was trying to avoid saying Christ, and that's what I came up with. Yeah, man, you know, I really picked the wrong color for me, because I don't have that either. <laughs> so that's a you. problem. That makes me feel worse, not What better. about this? Oh, well, I call well, this wealth distribution. Hey, back to where we started. Now let's right. have six hey, and seven cards. Hey. Literally, it couldn't, nothing happened. Yeah, no, this is a... Uh... Oh, good. I'll uh, punch you in the puncher. Who? Okay. Mm. Who are you punching? I uh, I don't know. Uh, Glowbox? Well, no hmm. one. Oh. Wow, what a terrible <sighs> hand the Glowbox had. Oh! 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 God. Oh! <laughs> Mark, how could you? Now I my know. revenge! No, here we go. No, Mark, why? <laughs> you knew it was going to I happen! I didn't know! How did you I know? I thought there was a 100% yes. chance of how that happening, Mark. How oh, could please, you? Oh, please, try again! Oh, 
it's my turn. For God. the love of God, don't do I it. I didn't have it. It's okay, man. Mark, please be merciful. <laughs> Here, I'll get the hand away from him, Bob. I won't let him do it to you no oh, more. Oh, okay. good, right, good, great. Good, 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 great. Thank you for saving me, kind Well, now Wade. he's drawn double the deck that he had, so who knows what's in there now. <laughs> I might have made some mistakes. <sighs> wow, what wow. the hell's going on over there? Okay. Oh, God, nothing good. Uh, How about them apples? I That's like decent. them That's a apples. good apple. Okay. Wow. We're gonna get one entire. Never mind. Oh. No, it's, you know what? It's okay. Get out of here, blue. <laughs> nice. Wait. Oh, wait for it. Yeah. Oh, double threes. I can do that. That's <laughs> uh, uh, getting okay. spicy in here. Somehow oh, we got all the way around to me, and somehow I don't have one of them. Looks oh. like I'm. Well, I hope you don't have a blue. The, I don't, but. Oh, thank God. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Oh, oh good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get for this plus two. Oh, oh. Oh. My Google oh. box, save me! Challenge him. He's lying. He's definitely <laughs> lying. Yeah, Just challenge Bob. me. Challenge me. Bob, how could you? <laughs> oh, damn. I was so sure he was lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Me, me, Why me? me? Oh, Why yes. me? Oh, 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 oh. How long does that cloud last? Because that's been a long uh, cloud. For, uh, how long does a fart hang around? <sighs> oh, it's going to be there a while. Yeah, fair enough. At least the way things work in my office. Man, oh, man. There you go. Thanks, Mark. Man. Hey, well, Mark. <laughs> Look, okay. if, Bob, if it was... Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. Wait. Oh, but... Oh. Oh, actually, that kind of works out. Hey, that's yeah. the one color I don't got. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, we're okay. Fine. It's, fine. It's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Look at you complaining. You only drew one card. Okay, I can complain if I want to complain. Hey, come on, guys. Oh, you're going to complain? You're going to complain? No, Who's complain I'm going to complain? Come on, guys. Someone complain over there? Complain. Someone complain that they don't get a turn? Oh, someone going to complain? Uh, uh, Here, Bob, uh, have a turn. That was really rude of him. I'm really <laughs> enjoying this. It's a good time. I'm not complaining. I would never complain. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Yeah, did Whoa. you see that? What was yeah. that shit? Globox is out here hacking. Oh, God, he cheated! He, <laughs> he cheated! Literally, literally just he hacked. He really fucking cheated! That was actually <laughs> just cheating. That's that's impressive. The computer's not even hiding it anymore. Damn, yeah, that's that's nuts, man. That's nuts. Barbara must be sneaking into these... Uh, hey, wait a minute. Well, hey, wait a... Wait, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I thought that we were cool, but that we weren't cool. How did that happen? Here, Bob, this will be pretty cool. No, I was just joking. Oh, man. Thanks, though, or something. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Here for that, you, bud. That's the good stuff right there. I just want to make sure you didn't have to worry about drawing for a while. You got everything you need yeah, right there. We're good. We're really good right now. Hey, Bob, it's okay. I'll be on your team. Can you be on my team? Will you really? Really? I'll be, I'll, really? I swear I'll be on your you team. Mean it? Yeah, if you just stop bitching for two minutes, I'll be on your team. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. I'll, all of you guys, this is a good game. Hey, all I need is 30 seconds, guys. Right, 30 cool. seconds. Ooh, this is tempting, but I won't do it. Oh, uh, baby! Uh, no, that definitely means you I don't have it. it. I, I definitely didn't knew really it. Know. I couldn't knew it. But I do have that. All right, Mark. Bob, I avoided this last time. Uh, no, let's do it. Do oh, okay, it. good. We're, do, We're do, doing do it. it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Come on. We're doing it. 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 Yes! The team. You know what, man? You really are my team. I love you, man. I love you too, man. You've been a good friend of me for a lot of years. Thank you. Appreciate you. I don't tell you that enough. Oh, man. That means a lot. You're a good friend. Oh. Oh. Okay, I still got your back. Don't All worry right, about cool. it. All right, cool, cool, good man. Hey, I didn't do the thing I could have done, but let me know when you're ready to do the next uh, thing we do. Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna need to charge up some power for us <laughs> to do that Our again. Hands hang gone on, just down a minute. At all in the 30 minutes we've been doing this? Uh, <laughs> probably not. Yeah, probably. Oh, not. I'm really God. bringing up the average here. We're oh, man. away from being <laughs> in the hell. Oh, how is this even possible? Wow. Okay. Oh wow. No, no, no. Wasn't yes. it just yellow? Now it's green. Yeah, it was. Oh. It was a yellow five. Wasn't so it I just made it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I had just made it yellow what? five. This well, guy's cheating. I see what you're saying now. This hey, guy's Mark, can do cheating. It now. Oh, that's okay. 
That guy's cheating. Hey, wait, you got any yellow in here? Oh yeah, I do. This is probably the winning uh -oh. hand for you, Not Bob. My I'll hand. give it back Don't to do you. Don't do it. Wait, give it back but to you. listen. Oh, that's not a good hand to have at all. It's okay. Hold on to it. Think about it. Good. <laughs> Think about it. Don't make any rash decisions. I, I couldn't if I wanted to. Here, let's leave the that dangerous hand in the cloud. Uh, okay. Why does uh, the cloud okay. stay? Why does Mark, it stay? We can do it, Mark. I don't have the thing to do it. I don't only you? have this. No, oddly uh, enough. Okay. Not, oh. not at this juncture. Later, I now will. Now I okay. must divide my 69. It's very sad. Go forth, nine. Tell the world of our deeds. Did you see that? You immediately got the card he wanted. What the absolutely, hell happened? Absolutely, absolutely mm. hacking right now. Okay, well, I did the same thing, but I'm not cheating. How He's in my cheating. deck do I not have anything? I have That's this. That's the hand that... Oh, We're starting oh, over! Right. Well, back to the start, nice. Nice. Back to six cards. Back to the start. Oh, All right. yeah. Oh, Ooh. fuck you, game. Not a... God damn it. I think the game is actually conspiring against you, Wade. Usually, I think you're full of it, and you're just being paranoid. This one's pretty blatant. Gotta be honest. Oh, I made a mistake putting yeah, that there. Don't. Can we get a reverse? No, there's no way, man. <laughs> Can we get a reverse quickly? Hey, well, it might work out for you. Mark, you got some kind of something? Doing something? Uh -oh. oh, I've got something. All hey, right. buddy, yeah. homie yeah. friend. I've got something. Pa oh! Oh, don't worry. Round two, I'm sure no, it can't no, happen no, twice. Mark, you know, oh, you know it's going to happen. Okay. Okay. That seems that still seems pretty mean to do to a friend, Mark. Uh, but what I wasn't saying. doing it to you. It just happened to you. It seems pretty mean to do that to someone you would call your teammate. I understand that, and I appreciate wait. Do you it. want to trade hands? All well, right. Well, never we'll mind, see what then. happens here. Maybe there'll be some exchange. Uh, let me uh, officiate this exchange Enjoy here. More let me take a look at that. Mm, I see. Mm. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> well, and now this uh, hand is just as good as that one, if not better. I'm really happy uh, right now. Ah. Uh, no. I'm about to be very unhappy uh, though. I just, I could just feel it in my uh, bones. Get a mark. Oh, I'll get him once one of these. <laughs> and then I'm gonna follow up one of these. Oh damn it! Ooh. I got Look one. I got one. There's one. I really feel. Right. I feel good about this. I feel good. Hang on, just hold on to those good cards for a minute there. Good. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. No. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh. Uh, nah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> what? That was my that was my terrifying what did you excited think was Tarzan about to happen? Means George of the Jungle noise. This one. Uh, ah, mm. not that one. Oh, said not a good one. I would concur with Mark on the not that one. Okay, I not that one. <laughs> that exact one again. <laughs> not that one. Still, That's a good no. one. Everyone oh, likes for, that one. Okay, sorry, previous buddy, but you're oh, the cook. Don't, don't. Don't do it. Oh, they can't stack those. There's no way. Can't you? I don't know. Well, yeah, Maybe. you can. Oh, never mind. You totally can. Good thing you didn't get boned there, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Brother! Brother, why? Uh, no, we're, brother! We're, we're clamoring brother. to the finish now. I'm it's freezing, a, brother! <laughs> there's no room for teammates now. I am assuming <laughs> I will get my revenge. Interesting, oh, interesting, no. interesting, interesting. Ah, yeah, interesting card. It'd be a, it'd be a oh, shame if I revealed it to everyone. Glowbox, jump in! Oh! No! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, crap. He changed uh, it from this color, I think, Mark. You're uh -uh. good, you're good, you're good. Uh-uh. You made a good no, choice no. there, Wade. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him now. <laughs> okay, well that was short lived. <laughs> Alright, let's get it right back. Wait! Oh no! Uh, uh, wait! Got him! Yeah, we, I, all of us got him. Together, cumulatively. Same Ooh. reflexes. Don't worry, Bob. Make sure that hand was ruined before you stole it back. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a good hand. Watch this. Hmm. You know what, Bob? I feel particularly nice. Have your hand back. Wasn't. <laughs> All right. Well, that's weird to say thank you. Appreciate it. What was that You're noise? Welcome. What was it? Wasn't. Wasn't. You ever just wasn't? 
Uh, oh, the cloud this. is gone. That's right. Yeah. It's oh gone God, now. what the hell happened? <gasps> well, we defarted him. Defart wow. station. <laughs> <That doesn't make sense>. <laughs> it's always funny because it was stupid. <laughs> no, that was that was the smartest thing I've heard in a long time. No validity. <laughs> that's my. That was hilarious. Beef Wait, fart station. Defartestation. station. That's so good. I've already declared that Wade made the funniest joke he's ever made earlier today. It can't be. Can't duplicate. I already it. forgot what it, all the time. I counter declare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Get it, Mark. See. I can't. I only oh. had the one of those. Get me, baby. Oh, all right. Um, Wait, can we leave it red hat? <laughs> all right, let's do one of these. Can we not again. leave it red hat? Yeah, if oh, we can do anything get but em. red hat. I can't even change it if I wanted to. You so had red, red at least. You had it. Get him. Get him. Yeah, but I don't like... That's not a good card. I want to play a good card. This card. Oh, for fucking uncles. <laughs> Don't, oh, don't, here we whatever go you're again. talking about. Let's make it red. No, come on, man. I think we agreed that there's red so is many not other color. colors. Yeah, yeah, like red, yes. reddish red, redder uh, red. That's not red. That's not red. That's Blood red. of my enemies, red. There we go. <sighs> Mark, oh. don't be a cuck to push this. Oh, fuck's sake. What <laughs> were you saying, sir? <laughs> About Just my octopus tentacles. <laughs> How dare you? Hate you. Wade, don't be a octopus. Mark. <laughs> oh, wait, what the fuck did he just do? He played I'm that challenging it, you idiot robot. Oh, okay. Damn, he's been using those cards with like technical abilities, and I still don't know what they are or how they work. Yeah. Well, all I know well, is Bob knows. All I know is hands go. Woo. Oh wow! What a hand! A glow box really hacking it up over here. Well, now Marcus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why did I do this to my <laughs> jump? This is a pretty good hand, you know. You, you, you can't deny Whoa, this wait, is a good Mark, hand. Listen. Mark, what? No, no, what? no, no, what? no, no. Why? Oh. Why? Why? I was I was lining it up for you. Lining what up? My death? Me under you the got, guillotine? You're the one who's got to hit me, the home me, run. Me. I can't do it for you. Uh, okay, well, I can do that. Why red? I have that. I, uh, mm, uh, let's do that. Well, come on, man. <laughs> Look, I, I fucked. Come, come on, on, man. <sighs> oh. Oh no, well, okay. <laughs> That's. I'm sure you can safely challenge I'm that. I'm challenging the it. There's no way. What are the odds? Uh... <laughs> we can't get below six cards. I'll show you six. Yeet. Oh god, remember when I said Uno like an hour ago? That was a good time, guys. Yeah, hey, yeah. I've said Uno like twice in this I've game. I've said Uno. That's just true. Lobox didn't I have the card that Wait will solve all of this problem. Yeah, there we go. Now it's fair. Fair is oh fair. Boy. It's kind of already fair, but uh, we can make fair it more fair. Is fairer. Uh, it's more fair. Oh, God. Fairer is fairer. Yeah, it's fair. Wade has nine. We all have eight. It's completely fair. It's fair. What? Fair. Oh, fuck's sake. It's fair. Can I skip my turn? All right, it's thank fair. you, Wade. Oh, that? thank you. No, that's fair. no, that's fair. No, you took fair's it. fair. Well, fair's actually, wait, fair. or Bob, now you can't do what I was going to do. Here, I don't want you to get below nine, Mark. Just stay there for a minute. Oh, stay there. Fair, oh, okay, fair is fair. Fair's fair. That's a markism. Wait, oh, man. Think about this. Okay, wow. That's okay. That's fair. Mark, listen. What? I know, what can I, know I do? I've done, I know I've goofed. I know. I've, wait. I know I've done some stuff to you. I think we can still be friends, okay? Well, oh. we'll be sure. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't. Glow box. Oh, okay. Okay. That was a long pause. That was weird. Something's hacking over there. That ain't right. Glow box is out here hacking it up. I will take that. Wait. No, I don't do it. Oh, I should have <sighs> taken yours. Ah. I'll trade with you. You All want right, trades? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I'll trade these. I'll trade these. Got, okay. who, tra trades used to be. <laughs> me, me, no! 
Glowbox, listen. Uh, Calm me? down. No, absolutely you? not. Uh, Why would okay. I trade with you? Why would right, I do I'm that? Really I'm in. Out. I can't play. Uh, I can't come on get a now. good hand. <laughs> Wade is uh, my turn. Look at me drawing cards over here, Wade. How does that? How do you think that feels? Oh, finally! It's not all about you, buddy. Yes, it is. Well, in my actually, head, it's not. Uh, okay, in my well, head, man. canon as to how the universe functions, it does circle me. Wait, yeah. what happened now? I don't know, but have a turn, Bob. I, well, I feel like good. this is about to be a poor yeah, ending I think to this I long don't, endeavor. Don't, oh. Okay. Oh. <sighs> all right. Well, thank God we're all at least below four, ten, cart, oh eleven. Oh, my God. Now, hold on. No, there's okay. <laughs> Let's just aim that deck somewhere else. All right. Hey, no hey whoa. Hey, come on. Oh, no. What? I feel like you, you know deserve what, Wade? that. Have it. Oh, it's all thank you, buddy. You, man. That's really nice. That's really nice. Man. That's not going to last very long, is it? That's no, really it's not. Nice. But hey, right now, I feel something. Bob, is there something I should know about that hand? Like some information? Some no. kind of like identifying possibilities. It's not that color. Okay, good. Jump in! Don't worry, Mark. I had Save this plan. Save me! All along. Night. Nice, man. <laughs> I knew what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Out. Played. That's good oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Well, just gonna draw some more cards, apparently. Uh, oh, I don't played. remember what that one does. Oh, that's right. Uh, Mark, what do you got going on over there? Yeah. Uh, a uh, green uh, eight and a uh, red. I, don't oh, to, I do not consent right. to telling you. I don't. Oh, all right. Little Christmas color card boy. Nerds. Okay. Well. Wait. Oh boy. I get a good feeling about this. No one knows what I have. A nice reverse might be real good <gasps> oh. right now. Whoa, uh -oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Can we yes. pass this on? Glowbox, do it. No, I'm not even going to let Glowbox oh, have the chance. No, I want it to happen. Fun. Oh. But what did you say? Bon Bob, I hope you have fun. another one. Bon Wait. Fun. No. Oh, shit. Oh, oh come, oh, come well, round, turn round. Oh, shit. Um, hmm. Ha ha. Did, no. Oh no. This is turning Why? up Markiplier oh, all around. God. God, I hate instant karma. Hey guys, come on now. Whoa. Hey guys. <laughs> you got more red, Mark? <laughs> you know what to do. No! Oh my god, he Buddy. did. Buddy! No! Friend! Don't you friend. still be friends? My teammate! <laughs> We did it! That might have been the world's fastest game of Uno. Yeah, it may have been. Yeah, it may have been. Alright, I think, uh, I have however... I mixed feelings about how that ended. A long-ass game, I think I'm gonna have to tap out. I am... Aww. That's unfair. That's unfair. It's unfair? It. Okay, it's unfair. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's unfair is unfair. Oh, I just got a lot of other work I need to do, and, you know, I'm Aww. tired, and, you know, I'm sorry. Are you gonna keep, you guys gonna keep going? Probably right for a bit, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah, something. Okay, cool. Well, I'll bow out, but everyone watching this, Bob streams over at facebook.com slash myskerm, M-U-Y-S-K-E-R-M. -E the mods will be linking it, and I will be rating Wade, but you guys divvy up based on, uh... Who you think smells better at this one moment in time? That's the criteria for dividing between the two. Like 50 50, even with myself. I had to I had to give out a flavor. All right, cool. That's, That's a, a tough call. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, just search, search, search inside your souls, everybody, and um, go, uh, go feel that one out for yourself. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely rest yeah. of the day. Yeah. Farewell. Get the hell out of here. Okay, bye. All right, guys, go. Whoever smells better at this one moment, divide yourselves up between them and let them know you think they smell best. Okay, cool. All right, bye, guys.